Welcome back, friends. This time, Deja and I are embarking on an eight-day cruise with Virgin Voyages, and we got to start off in the Rockstar Lounge. Okay, so you guys might recognize this is where you would normally come in, general boarding, and you'll come up the escalator, and you'll end up on that side. But then this is the little lounge that they have. They have these cute little spots to sit, and then there is like a little bar so you can get refreshments, snacks, drinks, and um, that way is boarding, so I think we're about ready to board. A huge thanks to Virgin Voyages for allowing us to have the Rockstar treatment this cruise. You guys, it is so worth it from the beginning. Boarding is super easy and quick. Bye! <laughs> and Bye. Um, just like that, Bye. we, we won. Bye. We won. <laughs> Bye! Fight! <laughs> we walked right on the ship. No waiting in the lounge. We just they scanned our little band and, and we're good to go. Our rock star, you get a black band. Shout out to that. Added it to my jewelry. Oh my gosh, I'm back. Your vacation is only a few steps away. Welcome Woo! aboard. Yes, Step it up. Bobby, right? yes. yes. Welcome Woo! aboard the Valiant Lady. Thank you. Back. Okay, so we have made it to our room. Deja and I have upgraded ourselves yes. to um, a nicer cabin this time around. Mm -hmm. So um, let's get our first impressions. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go. <gasps> Check out our cool balcony. Ah! We own the balcony. Okay, yes, go ahead and sit down. Let me see Girl. if you can. Haha. <laughs> how do you lay down? Uh, no, I think you're I think you're supposed to go this way. Oh, this way. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it. Okay. Yeah. There you go. She is <laughs> Our view of the uh, lifeboats. <laughs> hey. So we are back on Virgin Voyages. This time we are sailing with Valiant Lady, our African American mermaid. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, we have a beautiful balcony and I'm very excited to have some free ocean air and see what this place looks like when we split the beds like we did last time. Um, I know you guys love a room tour, so I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. Room tour happening in three, two, one, go. Okay guys, it's time for a room tour. All right, starting with the closet. Laundry bag. Do not disturb, come clean. Shelving, more shelves, wicker basket, closet. Life jackets, towels, safe, hair dryer. Shelves. Mirror, hey. Bed, which we're gonna split. Bedside removable table thing. Decorative pillows, extra blanket. Bedside table, that moves. Extra space, chair, Deja. Room pad, turn on. Room pad, Whoa. turn the lights off. Better, mirror. Desk, refrigerator, extra water, champagne. What's his name? What's his name? Ink! Regular water, cups for water, corkscrew. You have to pay for that. Also have to pay for ink. Ombre curtains. Whoa. Balcony, chair and table. Hammock. Wow. Another chair. The view. Now let's go to our favorite, the bathroom. <sighs> Toilet, towels, makeup towel, spit cups, soap, tissues, mirror with nice lighting, sink, a little bit more storage, shower, a little extra large shower for you know what. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Products, think for yourself, rainfall shower head, and tan hill. Don't point it towards the door.
Okay, room tour is done and everything. We're still waiting on our luggage to get here. It is only three o'clock for Virgin. Um, Check-in is a little later. But we're gonna go up to the galley and get a little snack, get Dej some coffee, a little drink a drink, and um, let's get this. I'm, I'm just so excited, I don't even know what to do. Oh, on our way there, let me tell you about what we have already done. So we went and did a little spa tour at the Egyptian Spa and we booked our time in there. Sorry. <laughs> I left my shades in the room. You want to get them? We're going to be outside, right? Probably, yeah. But anyway, we booked our time in the spa for tomorrow. I'm going to do a whole little like spa day. Um, get up in the morning, have a nice breakfast, go to the spa. Maybe it would work out before the spa, maybe. That would be cool. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, wait. I'm so retarded. <laughs> wow okay all right so deja every time we get in the elevator i think we should um twerk <laughs> So this time around, we made our way to the galley and just grabbed some sushi to go instead of waiting for waiters to come take our order. It was much quicker that way this time around. What'd you get? Well, oh, wow, I'm good. Guava. Oh. It tastes just like guava. I mean, huh. it is guava. Well, we just finished our first lunch. I think because we've been here before, we kind of know how it works. It went a little bit smoother. Like I said, we went and grabbed the sushi first. And then we just went ahead and came back inside, ordered a drink, and ordered a little bit of food. Yeah, Deja went over to the salad spot right here. You could just walk up and do a uh, made-to-order salad right here. How was your salad? It was really good. You can like mix it. You can like, you know, customize it. I also noticed something on the table. So before it was just a QR code, but now they've added a little raise for service flag. So they know that you're waiting rather than you hoping that they saw you sit down, which is a nice touch. Grounds Club 2 is where you can get your specialty drinks that are not included, like your uh, cafe drinks. So you can grab them here. Now over here you can actually get the free coffee where it says tap that hot. Um, so we're getting a little pick me up for the afternoon and then also across the way you can get your sodas that are included, things like that. Okay, me and Deja are back in the room and we are going to unpack, so that's what this is all about. So let's do a little, a little time-lapse action. Unpacking is one of my favorite things to do once I get aboard because it really feels like I'm settling into my home away from home. And if you're curious as to what I pack for a cruise, be sure to check out the video that I've linked up above. And don't worry, I am an overpacker, so we probably relate to one another. So in the middle of us doing our little time lapse of us unpacking, which is taking longer than I thought. <laughs> Um, we got a little mail here, Deja and Vanessa. Virgin, what you got in here? Let's see, let's see. Okay, okay. Ooh, what's, oh, I think I know what this is. All right, come, 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 Deja, come, come, come. So this is a key, right? A taste of the sweet life. Ahoy sailor, we are excited to invite you to enjoy our members only sun deck, Richard's rooftop, available exclusively to our Rockstar Suite sailors and VIPs. With the enclosed key card, you will you will unlock access to this exclusive area on deck 16 forward to enjoy panoramic ocean views and private hot tubs. Enjoy a taste of Rockstar life with us at Virgin Voyages. Yes! Oh! That's why people was excited you back on the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> this is our pass to Richard's rooftop. So there is a uh, complimentary uh, happy hour every day from five to six. So we'll be using that. From five to six? Yes. Every day? Every day. Okay. Happy hour! Which it's like five o'clock now. Where we need to go? <laughs> 
So let us finish here, and then let's let's take you guys up to Richard's rooftop when we're when we're done. Yeah. Can they? Move? Let's hope not. Like, can they get them out the way? They're taking up so much space. I mean, Deja wants to know if we need the life jackets. We don't need them. I know how to swim. If anything happens. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hey Deja, we're in an elevator. <laughs> Richard's rooftop is the ultimate perk for the rock star status. Outside of the suites, you get a special place just for rock stars where you can lounge in the shade or the sun. You have a private bar and snacks which are complimentary and complimentary moet every day between five and six deja and i made ourselves quite at home and got to know the locals up here South Beach. Honestly, I've lived here for so my whole life. Didn't even know this was here until I started going on cruises. Oh. I never knew that like this boardwalk thing was here. And I didn't then, even know this was over here. Like I didn't know you could walk all the way down and yeah. You I can walk all the way up to those rocks. I I know. And I lived. I was born and raised in Miami. <laughs> but oh, see, my yeah. we don't live near the beach. You see where I live. We don't live over here. Yeah, true. So we, we wasn't on the beach like that. <laughs> Here's a beautiful view of Miami on our way out. We then went inside and got ready because it is time for dinner time and we're headed to Razzle Dazzle tonight. Five. Like we do. It do. <laughs> <laughs> Outfit checks. Get up in here, girl. So you guys, I just wanna say, I've had this since I was 30, 35. And it still fits. It still fits. Five years later. Shout out to you. Um, I just bought this the other day, and it still fits. <laughs> 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 on our last voyage we only had four nights so we did not get around to going to razzle dazzle i was very excited to go here on the first night and see what all the hype was about the decor inside of razzle dazzle was a very red and a very modern and chic this is a vegan restaurant however there are two menus a naughty and a nice so if you're not vegan there is definitely something here for you Come here with an open palate and an open mind. Okay, so our first time at Razzle Dazzle. I'm very excited to get into the menu here and try some things. Get a fun cocktail. Um, they have a naughty and a nice menu. The nice menu are your vegan options. Your naughty menu is your non-vegan options. So you get to pick and choose whether you're naughty or nice on your ceiling. Um, so I'm gonna take a look at this menu and um, pick up some, uh, some cute things. So I mean, it kind of it kind of seems like on land pricing for drinks, um, anywhere between six to twenty one dollars. Check that out. It's a popcorn old fashioned. Yeah. All right, give it give it a try. Give it a try. I'm curious. I don't know what a drink I. Well, so that's a cup. It's like a it's a glass. Like right here. All right. It tastes like a really sweet old fashioned. However, it's really weird drinking an old fashioned out, out of a straw. It's like yeah. so weird. I got the uh, so Jim sweet. Bunny. It is um, Sauvignon Blanc and Prosecco and I can't remember. Fruit. Oh, it's in there. Okay. Maybe I want to take it out. out. It's going to be popcorn everywhere. <laughs> 
There you go. Yeah, I've seen it look like that. We have our drinks, we have our starters, got the crazy crop salad, there is avocado, there's asparagus in here, and they have beet dyed um, eggs, so they look kind of like beets, but they're eggs, so Deja doesn't like it. Not my cup of tea. I like avocado, I'm not feeling this salad at all. It's not terrible, but it's not like crazy. It's not like, yeah, it's not like a big, it's not. How do you feel about the uh, bacon? It's very, very crunchy and sweet. So they recommended the bacon. Um, it has brown sugar and paprika? I don't remember. Mm. That is really good. Okay, what do you know? I like bacon. Sorry to all you people who don't eat pork. This bacon is good. You can try a fry. I like the thick steak fries. Mm. Okay, so you know how fries have like a good like soft and inside, just good outside ratio? This is the perfect ratio of a crunch to a soft. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You guys know I have to try their fried chicken. The wings didn't let me down last time. Let's give this a go, shall we? This is not the best fried chicken I've ever had in my life. It was good. Alright, trying out the churros. Um, I already took a bite. <laughs> they are super crispy. Churros are kind of like french fries to me. Like They have a, have a nice like crunch on the outside and softness on the inside. These kind of left the softness on the inside. And there's so much glitter and stuff on it. I don't have a big sweet tooth. But if you do, it's a nice added addition. And then there's ice cream involved. So these means that even though they're healthy. They use just vanilla, but it's purple. Okay, what are your thoughts on Razzle Dazzle? It was okay. Yeah. Me. It was okay. It wasn't it wasn't like fantastic, but it was okay. It didn't wow us like the other restaurants have. Yeah, all the gumbay and uh, what was the other one? The wake, pink agave, uh, extra virgin, um, and then the test kitchen, and all those other places. After dinner was an event that I had been waiting to see around the world in 80 minutes with the diva, aka the drag show. The diva, aka Martina Brookshire, was so talented and so much fun, and she played games with the audience, and you guys already knew I had to get in on the action. Oh, there we are. Okay, perfect. You put this on. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. You, oh, she's taking her hair down. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, perfect. Put that on. There you go. There you go. And you're the little Wendy's girl. Okay, yeah. There we go. All right, now, if you haven't guessed by now, this is the Lip Sync Smackdown Extravaganza!
winners here. That was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you the yes, please, cocktail right there. Thanks for playing with me. Yeah, go ahead, give the hell off my stage. Yeah, wonderful. Make some noise for those two guys. They were amazing. Okay, we just left the drag show. Um, what do we think, Dave? It was a good show. Yeah, it was a really good show. The crowd is kind of, I could tell the crowd uh, used to be. <laughs> yeah, um, so the crowd is not, they didn't know what to do. Laugh, laugh or, or please. They didn't know. <laughs> I was like, this is kind of entertaining, but I don't know if I should like it or not. Yeah, you can tell the, the crowd is definitely a little, maybe out of touch, I would say. Y'all, look at this little lounge. Much. Like, is this version is very aesthetic. Um, if you think I'm not gonna get pictures and videos in every little pl place on this ship in eight days, you are wrong. Okay, you've lost. Dracula was fun. I got to lipstick for my life. I was a little Wendy's girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a little lipstick on. Shantae, I stay. <laughs> and then I got this drink that has like glitter in it. I don't know if you can tell from here, but it's the uh, Yes Honey, I think. It's a, it's an interesting taste, actually. Probably wouldn't get this again, but pretty alcohol. Okay, so for my pajama party, I went with like a little lingerie situation here, which I'm going to put my pajamas over the top. Okay, show the girls what you're wearing for the pajama jam. Okay, I have on this set from Fabla. They're supposed to have a drawstring, but I lost it. Oh. Uh, but yeah, it's like a little. It's cute. Little set. Little velour. And this is just a random silk robe from Victoria's Secret. <laughs> cute. Well, I am wearing this gold, like, cheetah print set from Shein. Um, a little lingerie teddy underneath that I got from I don't know probably Marshalls or TJ Maxx going like that cute let's go to the pajama jam let's go. on the very first night on all virgin cruises they have the pajama party it's a great way to just get in the mood in the groove of the virgin cruise last time we had a great time at the pajama party but this time y'all oh it was turned to the max I want you guys to just watch these amazing dance battles and um, me and my best friends that I have met on board the cruise. The music was great at this pajama party. Everybody was feeling it. Everyone was dancing and having a great time. Now at the pajama party, you need to know that there are some house rules. You're supposed to have fun, sneak up there, make some friends, get the milk and cookies, and do not wake up the hostess. And what do you think that we did? Yeah, yeah, we woke up the hostess.
oatmeal cookie. And it's so good. I'm so happy. That's it for day one aboard Valiant Lady, but don't worry, there are seven whole days left of fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys for watching, and let's see what's up next. Welcome back, friends. It's day two on our cruise, and we woke up to a sea day. Now, we just wanted to relax this day, so we got a good breakfast and hit the gym. Didn't really worry about vlogging too much for the beginning of the day. Just got our relax on. After the gym, we did go, you know, reward ourselves with some ice cream because, you know, work hard, play hard. And then we headed to the after the ship. We're now at the dock, enjoying the back of the ship we have, and um, sunshine before we get on with today's activity. This is the dock house and dock. On the inside is the bar called the dock and outside you get to lounge and watch the views from the back of the ship, which happen to be my most favorite views. Now, something I didn't get to experience last time was the food that the dock house has to offer. So we ordered some beautiful drinks and got a whole bunch of small plates. And just for you, I'm going to give this food a quick test drive to let you know if it's worth coming back to the dock house for. Good. octopus, you guys. Ooh, I definitely want to give that a try. Yes. While she's doing that, I'm going to go for the shrimp here. It looks delicious. Ooh. The shrimp is delicious. Also got the chicken thigh. They're just skewers or small plates, so don't be prepared to be super full unless you get a bunch of these small plates. If you're vegan, this is probably not the spot for you. I don't see any vegan options. The only one that doesn't have meat it has goat cheese in it, so as a meat byproduct. But we have um, goat cheese polenta, grilled shrimp. Spanish octopus, fire roasted chicken thigh, and hanger steak. So, this is for the meat lovers at heart. Vegan friends, uh, sorry about that. Mm. Look at the detail. <laughs> that is actual octopus, guys. You're not gonna get any more octopusy than that. Give this octopusy try. It's a little tough. But, you like octopus, they cook it in a way to where the tentacles don't stick to your tongue, you know what I mean? Alright, on our way out, they, they have a quickies spot out here too, so if you're at the dock and you don't want to wait, you can grab some Caesar salad, which I love, tres leche, some wraps, um, they probably will have the charcuterie boards out here too, grab it and go. Stacia and I are headed back upstairs really quickly, hi, how are you? Um, we're going to, I guess we're going to take this elevator, drop off our stuff, and then we're headed to Rich's rooftop to meet up with our friends. Yes, yes ma'am, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Deja. We're in an elevator. <laughs> we got company in here. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> got the elevator, the other lady in there um, also hit a twerk. I wish I got it on camera. So cute. <laughs> Um, I think on your vacation, you should also make your friends twerk in elevators. I, I only picked one person. I, I slow rolled it by the end of the crew zoom. We're going to do it in a packed elevator. Okay, friends. So, we spent some time on uh, Richard's rooftop. We stayed long enough to get to tappy hour. We had a glass up there and we took a glass to go to the room. Um, we're trying to get into Gun Bay tonight at 6.45 with Isaiah and his partner and his um, family. If not, then we will be at the test kitchen tonight. So we'll see how it all shakes out. Um, either way, we're gonna have a good time tonight. Okay, y'all. It is dinner time. My hair look a mess. 
We are late. My hair is sitting on top of my head. Like I didn't, I didn't even do my hair. I was ready to turn. Okay, oh, we're in the elevator, girl. Give them the yams and the uh, booty clackers. Booty clackers. <laughs> Luckily, we did end up at Gun Bay. Here's where we met up with my friend Isaiah, who is a work colleague who happened to be on the same cruise, ironically, and his family. And we had our favorite meal and drinking games. Now, when we played 369, you got to keep count. Um, uh, we have a watercress, potato, bean sprout, um, and plant of course are kimchi. Okay. Cheers! Cheers! Gumbe! Gumbe! You guys are so curious about the drinking game, so let me explain how this works. They give you a free shot of soju, and then they explain how the game works. This game is called 369, and you have to clap every time you hear a number that has three, six, or nine in it. If you don't, you're out, and you take a shot. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. 11, 12, 14, 15, 18 how the rounds go next out was david's dad bye bye and then david follows shortly after him <laughs> after david his mom gave it a strong try but miss mamos is out of the game too and then that left just two of us Okay, okay, okay. Then you are starting from one. One. Two. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. Oh! Check your shot! Go, 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 you ready? Yeah. Are you sure you're ready? I'm ready. All right, cool. Let's do it. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Food came out. I got my favorite. I got the um, rice crispy here, the seafood corn dog, the um, the chicken. So good. And then I got the japchae noodles, which were like those clear noodles. Um, this smash it cocktail is so good. Recommend. It's very ginger forward, but if you're not into sweet drinks and you kind of want something a little bit more full body and more rich. This is the cocktail for you. Sorry, in case you didn't this see me eat these things in the last wow. package, so I've been waiting this is just all like year for these. Salad. Okay, you want me to put in the dish? All right. The rice crisps on this side is seaweed. Obviously, on this side, it's like popped rice. I like meat. I like this rice. Guys, 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 guys. If you like to eat like seafood sheets, this is like the next level of the seafood sheets that you get at the grocery store. Chow. Uh. So good. 
Thank you. I am not disappointed with the quality of Valiant Ladies food here at Gumbay. Um, so far, it's up to par. Uh, Scarlet Lady was. I'm happy here at Gumbay. Shout out to that. Alright, One more appetizer. Seafood corn dog. You guys had a question about this one? It's from like, um, I guess. A shrimp and what's in here? Shrimp, maybe scallop, crab, all kind of like ground together or put together and bread it to make a corn dog. Some spicy mayo, kind of delicious. If you're a seafood person, you can make the corn dog. <laughs> you gotta take the shot. Like, you ready? Take yes. The shot. Shot number two. All right, so do. Cheers. Gun Let's go. Ah. That's not bad at all. I was not they were shooting it so they could get a top of Okay, all right. Oh, I was going to be Dumb or Okay. I would be good in Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Good luck. Well, I don't know about this. Alright, booze, let's do it. Oh, I'll go, I'll go take, let's take it. I can't, I can't it. Regrets. Ah, that's how you supposed to take it. Huh? You said he can't shoot it. That's how you take soju. You gotta just take it to the head. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <laughs> <laughs> talents to high street to do a little bit of shopping and by the way all of my outfits are linked down below Deja's sleepy I'm shopping they're gonna close in like five minutes but y'all know I love a spirit jersey they have two in here they have one that says voyages in the back virgin here and they have this one that says scarlet night in the back with a gold virgin on the front you have all your valiant lady Accessories. She's a cute girl, isn't she? Yeah. Like, look at this key ring. That's actually super cute. Ten dollars for that. And then um, some more tops. That's real cute. Um, Thirty dollars twenty-five. The spirit jerseys are eighty bucks. Look how they folded that. Beautiful. If you want to look like you work here, you can <laughs> wear one of those. Oh, let's sign the baby shirt right here. We'll just put a BB for vacation vibes. Come in here and see if you can see where I sign that. Oh, Mark Jacobs bag? Is that Mark Jacobs? It is. This is cute. Yes. That's cute. <laughs> so we came to the room. It has some mood lighting on. You know, I think this is like the hangover one or something. Anyway, I'm going to leave the mood lighting as it is and tell you um, dinner was really good. We had so much fun um, with our friends. Uh, we were supposed to go to Dual Reality after dinner, but the show got canceled because we have Rocky Seas right now. It's not terrible, but I can imagine it's rocky enough for the performers that are doing like gravity-defying stunts, 
on poles and things hanging from the ceiling it probably is not the best idea so unfortunately there's like really nothing to do which you know I think Virgin lacks things to do on their itinerary like there's there's live music right now and you could you know go to the casino go to a bar but that's like it until the club opens there's really nothing to do I guess we'll walk around and see what we can see but I came over here to change my clothes um, my heels were done uh, <laughs> and um, yeah rehydrate get some water uh, we had a lot of soju <sighs> you okay Deja <sighs> Yeah. How was your second uh, experience at Gun Bay? Uh, it was cool. I like the first experience was more fun. I think because our waiter was actually Korean. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool. It was fun. The, the drinking game was fun. The food was still good. The food was just as good as it was last what, time. What is this? You're you recording me? Yeah. Making concoctions. This is just electrolytes, child. Oh. You know, gotta stay ahead of the head of the hangover <laughs> this and is old now life in your 30s yes we are going to be in Porta Plata tomorrow as the carnival people know as Amber Cove but it's not going to be at Amber Cove it's going to be at Tano Bay which is another port in Porta Plata my first time there I'm excited to explore for you guys but uh, we have a really cool excursion coming up so I have to charge my GoPro so I'm gonna go do that and I think we might we might call this vlog here today was a chill day um, which is great um, perfect for sea day after a hectic embarkation day ready I'm so ready to explore some islands we have three countries back to back to back no break between so um, tonight might, might be a good night to go to bed a little early perhaps um... good morning friends we are docked in beautiful Puerto Plata and uh, Deja and I are dressed and packed and ready to go. We have an excursion this morning. I thought ahead last night and I ordered room service with Ship Eats Delivery to be delivered at 10 a.m. It's 10.22 and I'm still waiting on it. So that's a little bit annoying. We'll see um, if they get here before 10.30. Otherwise, me and Deja might gotta, gotta run and grab some food, but you know. I paid for this delivery so I kind of want it. We're gonna hopefully eat soon and hop off the ship. We are gonna meet in about an hour um, for the excursion which I'm so excited about. So we just got a call from the ship eats delivery people and they told me they're gonna be like 15-20 minutes late and we don't have that kind of time uh, so I just told them to cancel it. We're just gonna go to the galley. They apologize profusely <clears throat> we'll try it again later but that was a little bit disappointing i was i was ready for my luxurious breakfast out on the balcony but maybe another day um but anyway we gotta go drive to the excursion took about an hour and on the way I realized that Amber Cove is about 25 minutes away from Tayano Bay. 
The drive was up hills and very bumpy, but also very beautiful. Okay, we're currently following our tour guide somewhere. We're not quite sure what's happening, but we're gonna be doing the beach. We're gonna be doing zip lining. Um, here's some fun facts for you while we are walking. The uh, country of DR has 11.5 million in their population and the country of Haiti has 11 million together 22.5 million on this whole island. The excursion we chose for today was the zip line and beach day over here at Chuka Beach Club. We would have four zip lines to experience today and one of them goes clear across the ocean. You do get a free lunch with this one and about an hour to hang out at the beach. This excursion costs us $80 per person. Look at that little guy. Dominican Republic is one of my most favorite places to visit, specifically Puerto Plata. The lush landscape and the blue waters are always so breathtaking. If you're feeling unsure about booking a trip that goes here, let this be your sign to give it a try. Sat by the beach for a little bit just to get a little sunshine. We didn't want to get wet before we did the zip line, so I just got some drone shots for you guys. Y'all know the vibe. This is our new friend Debbie. Debbie from Miami. She's solo cruising, so see, you solo cruise, you make friends. It's a party, don't be afraid to solo cruise. And then we get some chicken. Chicken, fish. Fish and rice. Rice and beans. Rice and beans. Nice, okay. And a little bit of barbecue. All right, let's dig in. Ah, okay, we have a new name, Lady Gaga. <laughs> All right, it was finally time to suit up and get ready to zip line. These nice gentlemen gave us a demo and they were kind of hilarious. Everyone has his little two pick your legs up. Pick your legs up. You can do it like this, like this, like this, like this. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, even like this, if you want to go like, whoever zone. Okay, so we just got our safety briefing. You ready, Deja? I guess so. Um, I, I felt like it was only right to do zip lining here in Puerto Plata because it was my the first place I did a little baby zip line. If y'all remember that, I'll put a little clip from the last time I was here. So I was like, okay, if we're gonna go big, then this is the time. Um, here's our first one. I don't want to be first. <laughs> I don't like these stairs, first of all. As you guys know, I have historically been afraid of heights, but I am pleased to tell you that after all these years of actively conquering my fears i'm less and less afraid every single time so while this was still a little scary my palms are not as sweaty um but this the stairs up here are a little challenging My experience ziplining here was amazing. The ziplines were great. They were pretty fast and I felt secure, so that definitely helped me. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I know it. 
poor thing. Are you guys wounded? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You do need to be prepared to do a little bit of hiking to get up the stairs and up this hill. But once you get there, it's definitely worth it. Can we just take a moment to watch this guy yeet Deja into the next universe? Bye. Debbie also got yeeted, and now it's my turn. Once we were all done having fun in the sun, we went over to the gift shop where I got some Dominican chocolate and we were on our way back. That excursion took a little longer than we anticipated. So we're gonna do a quick little walking tour of Taino Bay on the way back to the ship. It is 5.09 right now. And um, we're gonna try to catch a little bit of a happy hour and maybe hop in the hot tub. little lazy river moment okay hey it looks like if you don't get an excursion here you don't plan on leaving the port you're gonna be okay at Tano Bay got a little swimming bar over here in this lazy river pool looks like they have some hammocks over there some sand this is really cute Regretfully, we had no time after excursion to spend time in the port area, but honestly guys, this is probably the best cruise port area I have seen in a while. It's wonderful how they situated the place and how they decorated to keep it tropical and a place that you actually want to hang out. So I definitely have to come back. That was Taino Bay. Let's head back on the ship. So we've been hanging out in the hot tub uh, with a couple of, well, a subscriber and her sister. I love meeting the best friends in person. Guys, please don't be scared to say hi to me because I'm so nice. This could probably be part of the drunk cam. <laughs> so this is drunk cam. Put the, cue the drunk cam music right now. <laughs> Put the drunk cam over here. Put the drunk cam music on. <laughs> No! We done had like three glasses of champagne. <laughs> okay, so as you know, at Virginia Group Tub, you do get champagne between five and six. It is, oh, my, my wash is over there. But it's after six now, it's probably like 6.30. We should probably yeah, get out like soon and figure out our dinner plans. Yeah. We got our three glasses. Mm -hmm. So we got like three glasses of champagne. And we found the two black ladies in a Virginia Group Tub. Um, shout out to y'all. They should came from some back pain. So, a what? Back pain? What I said? Oh, back pain. <laughs> I, I, like, couldn't, I couldn't understand what you said. Back pain. And then put on a beard to me that back pain. Back pain. <laughs> 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 oh, and why do we know that's what it sound like? Back <laughs> pain. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry to all the people. We just dropped. Oh, gosh. Anyway, though. Um, so. 
Oh, yeah. Anyway, DJ has some back pain. I already had that. So, <laughs> I can't, like, I haven't been able to do my neck this whole cruise. Let's go. Yeah, it's time to go figure out what we're having for dinner because we might not have dinner. We might not have dinner. We, we, we might be in the galley. So, <laughs> so anyway, though. Oh, gosh. See, I told you, drunk <laughs> hell. I told y'all, drunk no. hell. To kill the drug music. <laughs> You drunk and the water was heavy. <laughs> the bag heavy, child. That's way. Give me some subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. We gotta. We gotta figure out dinner. See you later. Yeah. We got another drunk cam. <laughs> we got a drunk. I am so gone at this point. <laughs> How many champagnes did you get? I can't count them. But ask Ebenezer to add cranberry. That's yeah. what I was like. Cranberry. You got flavors. I saw somebody else have it, and I was like, Ebenezer, you're holding out on me. What the fuck is that? It's not, it's not our floor. Deja. We got company in here. You're in, a, okay. you're in the elevator. As we sailed away from Puerto Plata, Deja and I sobered up a little bit and got ready for dinner. Let's go! Alright, so the plan for tonight is we're going to go to the pizza place down 7, I think, and we're going to get pizza for dinner instead of going to a restaurant. Uh, we'll save the restaurant fun for another day. The pizza place, boom, right there on 7. And then at 9 o'clock, about an hour from now, we have secured spots in the Grog Walk, which is the bar hopping situation here. Um, I originally tried to book a couple days ago, but there were no spaces. It was all booked out. This is a sip lounge, y'all. It's beautiful. You need a, a right now? Okay. We're about to do the grog walk. We're probably gonna. We're probably gonna come over here. Okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like. Okay. Pick me up. All right. Well, I don't want the pizza place to take forever because you know they can. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back. We'll come back. We'll get her an espresso martini. I don't know where the grog walk is going to take us, but I feel like it's going to take us to all the bars. So she'll probably get one. Okay, so I went and ordered the pizza. Then they gave us this thing to let us know. Yep, I ordered it. And when this thing vibrates, you know how these work. Then it's time to uh, go get the pizza. So she got her ice cream to go with the pizza. What did she get? Butter pecan and coffee, uh, espresso. Oh, there you go. You got your espresso anyway. I need some more, but vibrate, vibrate, vibrate. The pizza place is another always free restaurant, and honestly, Virgin has the best pizza at sea, hands down. So down, I realized that they had butter pecan, and y'all know I love butter pecan. So I ran over there and got me one too. I thought they didn't have butter pecan, but they switched the flavors like every day. Now I have butter pecan ice cream. I'm so happy. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it backwards. Dessert first while we wait for the pizza. <laughs> Bread and our pizzas are here. We have two that we're gonna share. We have pepperoni, of course, and then we have pretty fly for a white pie. Life with Us TV was raving about this pie, so I really want to give it a try and see if it's all that is cracked up to be. It looks great. All right, let's eat. Shout out to Amanda and her boo thing. They just followed on her channel. She's a woman supporting women. We love that. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> Update. This is bussin'. Um, I wasn't sure. I've never been a big fan of like white pies, but this is, they got all the right stuff on this. This is really good. Shout out to Life With Us TV. If y'all are watching this, y'all, they don't steer you wrong, okay? They, they know what's happening over on that channel, so shout out to them. Give them a follow. I know you already watched them, but if, if you're on the fence, they ain't gonna see you wrong. This is good. Uh, we already checked into the grog walk. We got our masks. This is how they know that we're with the group. Um, we went, ran to the bathroom to empty out the tank before we refill it. And um, now we're headed back that way. 
Okay, highly requested adventure here at the Grog Walk. Let me explain how it works. At every bar, you're gonna get a quest question and you have to complete the quest before you're able to get a token so that you can get your drink. Once that's done, you are left to hang out at that bar for a few minutes, chat with people, and then you move on to the next place and do the next quest. Okay, so you get these cards and you have a mission. Once you fulfill your mission, then you're allowed to go get your drink. So it's not quite a choose your own adventure, but they have an adventure for you. So I gotta find somebody with a unique talent. Are you doing anything fun or cool? No. Okay. Yeah. So this is my unique talent. Okay. Can you tell Vacation Bugs what you can do? Like, that's so unique. unique. I speak another language. And she can do it upside down. <laughs> Absolutely. What's your name? Isabel. Isabel can speak Spanish upside down. I saw her do it. She was at the pool. <laughs> What was your mission? Uh, I had to find somebody with the same color eyes. Oh, that was easy. What was yours? Find somebody with a unique talent. Nobody has talents over here. Okay, Isabella can is bilingual and she can speak Spanish upside down. Upside down? Love yeah, it. I know, right? Thank you. Nick? This in here? Thank you very much. Our first drink is this smoky margarita with a little tahini on the rim. It's really del delicious. My favorite cocktail is a margarita, so it's a great way to start off the grog walk. Pretty good. The drink is good. Just like how I like the margarita. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy so far. So I guess this is a game designed to make people meet each other. Kind of break the ice. Somewhere. Yeah. I think my camera scares people though, so we'll see if anybody. <laughs> hey, y'all, update. That's not tahini on the rim. That's a barbecue season. Even better. Okay, and we're moving. Can you sit right there? I love this like little area right here. I would so that yeah, no one wants to sit with us. It's fine. It's okay. We're each other's best friends. Who else do you need? The best dressed of your group and tell them so. Oh, okay. Let me check mine's out. Walk oh, I got the same one. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's look for the best dressed, you guys. Hey, Taylor. I think you're best dressed. I'm just gonna show your outfit, that's okay. She is best dressed. I love this ensemble. Is it a onesie? Like a little jumper, a romper? Cute, cute. Where'd you get it from? Amazon. Yes, we love Amazon! All right, this time we have a key. And that key is gonna be the key to our French 75 right over here at the Sip Lounge. Today she's getting a espresso martini she's been craving, and this is the French 75. Let's taste it. Okay. So you can swap out a drink, like if you have any dietary um, things or you just, you're just you not feeling it, you can uh, swap it out and get something different. So that's what Deja did, because she had been craving as you guys remember, I was gonna buy one. Buy one. Let's see if we can switch it up. Might as well. Mm. We are. We did pay for it. Mm. Cheers. All right, we're on our way to our third bar, which is in like the little gaming area situation. Like, see, there's like board games over here. Let's find out. We're drinking next. I think it's gonna be something fun. Y'all lost it. She'll here get a pretzel. Look, I saw pretzels. I had to get one. <laughs> There's the arcade over there. And then I have air hockey. Well. Oh, we gotta find a place to see it. Okay, we are at the loose cannon for our next drink. Okay. We friends have to play truth or dare with somebody. I'm gonna go over here. Hi. Hi. You seem fun. My name's Vanessa. This is Vacation Vibes. My, My card says I have to play truth or dare for one round. Okay. So I'll let you go first. Truth or dare. Let's be fun. Let's say dare. Do you want to pick the string? Yeah. 
Like there's our subject right here. What's your name? Hi Sydney. Hi Sydney. to make out with him in front of everybody. Woo! Yes! Okay, our token this time is this weird coin. And we're going to turn this in, okay. Thank you. I have no idea, we're testing the <laughs> Nope. Very much no. Uh-uh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Dej is excited because all the games in here are free. <laughs> she said, bye, drink. All right, what are we playing? What are we playing? I don't know what this is, but I'll play. Got golden axe. Oh, they got the driving ones. Oh my, let's just do a little. I don't know. Look at that Street Fighter. Street Fighter. We got Donkey Kong over here. We know how to play that. Mario Brothers. NBA Jam. Sunset Riders. Ninja Turtles. Obviously, all the good ones are taken for sure. Two players. Get two players. Ninja Turtles, the first Ninja Turtle movie, that shit used to be my shit. Ninja, Ninja, Rap, Ninja, Ninja. You remember that song? <laughs> oh, it's going. We gotta, it's going? I think so. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm um, okay. That's me. I'll go this way. Oh, 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 oh. Get him, get him. I got your back, girl. Wait. Ah, yes. What he doing? He flipping. Somebody get, he, he getting these. The third one came in his ass. Come on, Michelangelo. Let's go. Ah. Boom, 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 boom. Whoops. Oh. Whew. Okay. We was whooping booty. We was whooping them. Now it's time to go to our, our next location. We found ourselves in a casino where they do have a bar, as we can see. Our drink is going to be the Cosmo, our Cosmopolitan that we have here. So that's Bassett Patron, Lime, and Prime. Uh, so go ahead and flip over those cards. Three, two, one. Ahoy! Oh, I love this one. Group picture. Group picture. Group picture. Here we go. All right, people. Everybody win. Everybody win. Okay, we have another key. My group pic group picture. Fam, yeah, let's yes. go get our cosmos. Oh. Right here. And there you go, enjoy. Thank you very much. Cheers, darling. Cheers. 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 Yes. Why not? Cheers. Cheers. One, two, three. Clap, clap, clap. Spin around. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. After the grog walk, we met up with Isaiah and David at the club and had a few drinks in a little section and waited for the dance floor to warm up before we went out there. We definitely got a rug, had way too much fun to record, so you're just gonna have to trust me there. And that's it. Good morning, friends. We have made it into San Juan, Puerto Rico. Let's check out the view. Oh, 
so it is almost one o'clock we got here at 12 and our boat is going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight all aboard at 9 30 so we have plenty of time to go explore Deja and i are going to take off one foot explore old san juan and the new san juan and all of that and go find some um something special come with us and let's enjoy the day in san juan so one of my favorite carnival so ships is here excited. mardi gras it's nice to have her in comparison to valiant lady the girl it's nice to be represented on the side of your ship right this is deja's first time here it is. this is my first time here in a long time let's see if it's just as i remembered i remember that walgreens for my ogs if you ever seen my very very first cruise vlog you know that i had a knee injury like the second day of my cruise and i had to get a knee brace and i couldn't walk around so that's where i got the knee brace that saved my cruise i remember crying and feeling like oh my god i ruined the one and only time i'm ever going to go cruising i'm not going to be able to enjoy this and here we are like 12 cruises later welcome to san juan puerto rico this cruise port is not much of a cruise port and it's left to be its authentic self which makes it one of my most favorite places to visit in the caribbean just like i did before i'm gonna go straight to the port, port first do a little fort tour with deja and then we're going to go find umbrella alley um these are free things well cheap things i should say you could do in puerto rico the walk here is only a few minutes um it is uphill so take keep that in mind if you need accessibility, uh, I guess just make sure you have somebody that can kind of help you up the hills and through the cobblestones, things like that. Or be prepared to grab a taxi. So we hit that corner and now we're going to go straight up this hill. I told you guys it's a lot of hills. I'm going to hold the camera straight to the horizon so you can kind of kind of tell what the grade is looking like. We're going straight up here. All right, the fort is now $10 used to be used to be $3 inflation people it's like a 300% increase <laughs> <laughs> this trip to the fort cost Asia zero dollars because she is a veteran and veterans come in for free imagine having to learn how to use one of those at basic training huh? imagine having to learn how to use one of those at basic training chat it's more my speed right there Stick it in there. Boom, boom, boom. Fire in the hole. That's <laughs> why you enjoy the army. It was like this um, back in your day. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the army be having you sleeping today. So, so I had to join, I got to join the Air Force. We get real beds. Oh, okay. You know, air Who knew? Who knew? I didn't know the army was like that. Yeah, man, this is why I ain't doing. They got those shoes Same too. Same shoes and everything. They still wear them shoes. <laughs> same uniform. Yeah. Them green blankets. Well, they they got them same blankets. I mean, you can come up here, grab your gun. Doing about three minutes, okay? Hold still. Get one shot. That's all you got. Get one chance. All right, let's go upstairs. This way. This way. Doing a little spooky. You ready? You go first. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not that spooky. Yeah. While you're in port, you want to come to the top of the fort. You can see all the ships that are in port from up top. And um, you can get those drone worthy pictures. The views from the top of the fort here in San Juan are spectacular. You get a view of the city down below and on the other side, a view of the big blue. Now, thinking about what the function of the fort is, this is where the military defended this island from forces coming across the Atlantic Ocean. So having a big view was very important to our armed forces. So this is the Don Jones. Ew, spooky. Let's do it. Come on. Get a little spooky. Ooh. <laughs> Ew, look. Oh my god. This is oh. 
storage room. We got like they got the, the cannonballs. Um, cannonballs in here. Okay, so this is the way that we came through before. A little light. Okay, thank you. Cause it's spooky. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. This is really spooky. I'm scared of that cone. What is that over there? We should scare the next people walking by. The ships drawn on the wall may be the work of a Spanish captain held here to await execution for mutiny. <gasps> Ooh, so this is oh. like a... So this is like a... Oh! This is a dungeon. <gasps> so this captain drew ships on the wall? Wow. So the, so the captain who's about to die drew this on the wall. Yeah. <gasps> Creepy. That concludes our tour of this side of the fort. It's kind of cool to see some old history. Love a good historical moment. While it's really easier to go on vacation just to party and do the exact same things you can do at home, it is important to indulge in some of the culture around you and learn some things about the places that you're going. All right, so we are on the way to Umbrella Path. Um, walking our way down from the fort, um, we're taking a right here and headed this direction. In case you're wondering where it is, if you can orient yourself, this is the little square. We're headed this way. Okay, a few minutes later, we made our way. Um, currently, it is end of March, March 29th, I think, and uh, it is no longer, it's not umbrellas right now, but they are, looks like, butterflies. The walk from the fort was only eight minutes and so worth the journey. Right now, there are pink butterflies instead of umbrellas, but it was still beautiful. After Umbrella Path, we went over to Barrachina, which is the alleged birthplace of the Pina Colata. It is so beautiful in here, perfect vibes. I could have spent all afternoon there. Deja said the pina colada was amazing, the best one she's ever had in her life, which you would expect. And because I'm allergic to coconut, I got a rum spritzer of some sort. The uh, bartender made me his own recipe. And you guys, as you're about to see, this stuff had me absolutely lit. As we left and headed back towards the ship, we just took some time to take in the scenery in Old San Juan and the beautiful colors of all the buildings. It is truly breathtaking here. Back on board. It's a little windy. Um, we are going to go upstairs to the Sun Club to go get pokey. Um, it's, it says on the app it's open till 5. It's open from like 12 to 5. It's got weird hours, so just keep that in mind when you are on board. So we're going to go try to get a pokey bowl. For a little lunch, a late lunch, it's like four o'clock, but we don't have dinner until eight tonight. So we need to get some food in right now. So we might've went a little ham, but here's our little Asian feast. We got a couple different sushis, um, shrimp tempura, salmon, beef bao buns, and then we got tuna poke balls. And some calic. Let's eat. We have made it to happy hour. Made it. Cheers. We have made sure that we have not missed any happy hour so far. 
No, it is good too. It's not the it's not the cheap stuff. I think these glasses are twenty one dollars if you buy them. I'm sure we've had a couple hundred dollars worth of wet so far. Check us out. Wow. We, all we wanted was a top off. They said we'll top you off plus an extra glass. This is just so we can get dressed for the show. Right. Wow, I love virgins. So I like virgins. They, know, they do it right. I ain't never seen nobody act like this before. How are we going to get out? Wait, wait, hold on. Guys, I'm not even going to hold you right now. I'm lit. I still haven't even drank my second champagne because I'm scared. I need some water. Shout out to EpicWaterFilters.com. I could put any water in here, not seawater, but any fresh water. And this little this little thing in here is a filter. Filters all the impurities right out. Shout out to them for me having clean water, even when I'm really drunk. Listen. Hey, we got a show I don't, in like 45 minutes maybe. And I need to be pretty and, and ready for it. So we're gonna, we're gonna get started. While I'm doing that, friends, let's chat. We're gonna, we're gonna move from drunk cam to a rose chat. You know, you know, ladies and gentlemen, when you just do your best and that's what you got, that's us right now. I have some things to say about this cruise. I'm gonna do an entire video at the end of this cruise vlog series talking about what I'm about to talk about and duh, but as a little teaser, I'm just gonna say it. There's no nice way to say this, honestly. Don't come out naked. I'm naked. Why? So listen, there is no nice way to say this. You know what I'm saying? See me. It's dark as What the fuck? Just make sure you're not in the mirror. Okay. <laughs> Deja's booty Don't mind me. She booty book naked over here. Ass naked over here. Comment down below if you want to see. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. It become might get you more views. I'm become a channel member. I'm trying to get you more views. <laughs> <laughs> Make grow the vacation vibes family. Okay. Comment down below if you only, want to see it. Only fans too. at Vacation Vibes Official. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, any who, any wow. Anyhow. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the demographic on the ship is, in my opinion, the demographic on the ship is very, very, very much not what they what they market to and this cruise this particular sailing is is trending in a way that I didn't expect for virgin and I'm and and it makes me a little frustrated to be honest um, for several reasons we will talk about it I'm going to finish freshening up for dinner we're gonna we're gonna have a great cruise but just know when this series is over we have things to talk about okay goodbye all right your girls are dressed we are dressed we look like cosmo wanda yeah. we're fairly odd parent <laughs> <laughs> is something spectacular. I hear this show is a lot of fun and a can't miss event. So let's check it out. So without giving too much away, the Misbehave show is a game show where the audience fully participates and there may or may not be prizes. We had a lot of fun here. It is absolutely cheeky and Teddy Bear and Daniela stole the show. You
Behave show is probably the most fun we've had yeah, so fun. in a show so far. So, if you're willing to participate, <laughs> my advice is to sit in the front. Sit in the front. Sit in the front. Yeah, don't be scared. That's where all the fun is. Front and center. That is where all the fun is. So, if you are like me, if you're a Leo and an attention whore, then <laughs> sit in the front and you'll have all the fun. But, um, yeah, it was a nice game with a nice message. So. Good job, Virgin, with the misbehave show. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Now we head to the aft um, on our way to Pink Agave. And um, you already know, we're going to have a great dinner. I can't so, wait. I'm so excited. I am too. Off to a fan favorite restaurant, Pink Agave. Here is where we last time had the cricket drink and all the food here is so good. You can definitely taste every last Michelin star in this restaurant. We met some friends and had some good drinks. Okay. okay, so I got the cricket drink without the crickets. I'm excited about that because it was so good. And then Deja got herself an espresso martini with the mezcal in it. So I'm very excited to see how that tastes. So um, let's cheers. And there's our friend there. Wife is embarrassed. They're like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Cheers. Uh, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's kind of like when it started, it was really good. Yeah. He does his own thing. He plays music. No. Please taste this. Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh huh. So, yeah. Is that a dinner call too? That's a nice <laughs> twist. You're a little fan. You nice. know. Mezcal only. Never had it with mezcal, so you, it's a definitely like a nice little twist in there. That's good. Back to our mezcal martini. Mezcal. This is delicious. Um, I recommend a string with or without the cricket. Here are some of the choices for appetizers that I recommend the guacamole, the corn, the aqua chile, and the shrimps. I've had the shrimp before, but I kind of forgot how. Thank you. I kind of forgot how good the green beans and the potatoes were. These are good too. Being well seasoned is. It's a game changer. It's good. Thank you. Crickets. So we got the good old, good old steak. Listen, the steak with the cheese, this is Oaxaca cheese on the steak. So it's not like a Philly cheese steak. It's just a steak with cheese on it. Okay. And it, um, get it medium. Okay. It's really tender. Let me uh, give it a try. You need to finish your drink before your next drink comes. Oh. She's talking to me. Who's talking to me? Hold on. Just any time to get drunk on the cruise. At Pingagave? Okay, listen. I haven't been right since the rub. It's San Juan. I want to show the 
buzz or cry, okay? We don't gotta drive, girl. Great, 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 Help! Help! Let me cut the steak. Oh. She's got a little steak. Okay. Get, get the same cheese on it. It's good. This steak, people say this is the best steak on board. There's also a steakhouse on board. So, trust me here, when you come to uh, Pico Gabe, you want to get the steak. Got my rainbow spoon. Got a little ice cream. Got a little bread pudding. Mmm. Let's let Deja try it because she's looking salty. Honestly. Get a little ice cream. Get a little bread pudding. That's really good. Mm hmm. And that's a wrap on dinner. Oh, wait, wait. It's starting, go. Okay. <laughs> ah, it's going down. It says waiting for others. Press start. I did. Okay, press, okay. Oh, I'm, so, oh, they got a picture of us, bitch. Oh my God. Ah. Mine is not showing on mine. Wait, no, fun fact, I actually was on the day 2500 Speedway. Wow, this is one of our hundred. You're so cool. I know. God, it's hard. Look. Bye. I'm Wait, out. What I'm am I out. Doing all of this? I'm out. Ah. One hand. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm crashing. Two hands. Get out of here. Whoa. Oh, my speed's down here, oh bitch. I'm 130 miles per hour. Do you see what I see, besties? Do you see what I see? Why is the camera not on my head? Yay! You have plenty of seating if you know if you're waiting for your resident nerd to stop playing. You just have a seat right here. With your espresso, and we can just we can just wait, wait for them to be done. After way too much fun in the arcade, we headed out for some nightlife and listened to the live bands. After the bands, we headed to the manor, and I just want to show you how they warm up the party. The club starts after a party every single night, and the Happenings crew warms up the club before anybody steps on.
Welcome back, best friends. This is day five aboard the Valiant Lady and the rain and seas brought us into St. Croix on this day. St. Croix is one of the U.S. Virgin Islands and one of the most beautiful destinations. Come with us as we spend the day here. Here, there does appear to be a beach that you can walk to right there. So if you don't want to go far, you can just walk straight to the left, go to the beach there. Um, nice, pretty beach Why though. Is poor, I've ever been to. It's, it's really chill here. But yes, I didn't come to San Croix to go to the beach by the port though, so we're gonna find something a little prettier. My first impressions on St. Croix were I was expecting it to be a lot like St. Thomas, which is the only other Virgin Island I visited, but I was surprised that it was quite different. Even the landscape looked a little different. It's a lot more quiet here. It's a lot of farmland and the people are so nice. We learned things such as our current US president has a vacation home here and visits quite frequently. I would recommend that if you're coming to St. Croix to prepare to get an excursion so you can have something fun to do if unless you just want to hang out in the ocean blue, which it's beautiful here, so a beach day here would be just fine. We were a little bit too late booking the excursions and they were all sold out, but there are some amazing excursions here, so I definitely recommend. Right now, it's turtle nesting season, so some of the beaches were blocked off, which was a little bit of a bummer. However, seeing the turtles swim up to the ship as we got off was amazing. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Let's go to the water, shall we? You say this water is the clearest because it's a little, it's a little dirty. But uh, let's take a peek. Is it clear? So we're here at uh, Rainbow Beach. Just about a five minute ride, even that. Just a couple minute ride from the port and the taxi. Costs us five dollars a person to get down here. Not the, not the beach I would have chose for um, the day here. The turtles are nesting at um, Sandy Port, which is way back there, just beyond that like barge. I don't know if you can see that back there, but on the very, very tip of the island over there, it's where I was hoping to go. But um, during nesting season, they don't allow people to go, obviously, to preserve the wildlife there. So uh, we came over to Rainbow Beach, which was number one in my Google searches for the best beaches to go in Fred said. It's nice. The water isn't too, it, it feels like bath water, a little colder, maybe like your bath water starting to get cold. It is a little rocky on this side, so it's a little hard um, really like getting in here walking around in the water and of course there's wildlife and I'm trying to I don't know what's in the water I know they have ginormous turtles here so I'm like and I've already had a run-in with two iguanas on the beach they literally ran right through my legs I wish I had that on camera <laughs> they were gi the giant iguanas like the ones that you see in Miami that you like run away from after a little fun in the sun and getting some pictures like the one you'll see at the end of this vlog, Deja and I stopped by the local restaurant right on the beach to get some food. The food here was really good and so were the drinks. We came over to the little restaurant here on the beach to get some drinks and a couple little bites. Um, I got clam strips and a, what did I get? 
a rum punch. I haven't had a rum punch all week, so I'm in like a little island taste. Um, it's, so far it's really nice over here. Um, it's a nice little beach restaurant. Do you recognize Daisy got the cruise in confusion? Our taxi driver um, recommended that. Looks like a lot of alcohol, so we'll see. Once we had our fill of a couple bites to eat and a drink, it was time to go. We called up our taxi and he showed us a couple of points of interest. He took us back into this little bit of a jungle and showed us a place where some tourists walked off after she got drunk after a long day at the beach and jumped off. Like, that's crazy. Anyways, I don't know why he thought that was so interesting, but <laughs> he brought us back um, towards the port and also took us to go see some plantations. He told us that St. Croix had a deep slavery history as well, and slaves here were picking cotton and sugarcane. We had had enough of St. Croix for the day, so we headed back to the ship. And dressed. And hi guys! <laughs> to the ship show, which is a dinner show. Excited to try. Hi! I love the show. We're already seated. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll give you a full review on the, the, the food. Hi! So yes, full review on the food because I know that's important to you, and of the show, of course. <laughs> Mm, VIP access. Oh, there's like more back here. Who would have known? I didn't even know. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this is our view. We're kind of tucked away in the corner. Hopefully we'll get a great view. The stage is extended. Thankfully, after lots of persistence, I was able to get us booked into It's a Ship Show. I had seen and heard a little bit about it, so I was very excited to try it out. First things first, I want to introduce you to the main singer because she was amazing. a little bit more from that VIP section I mentioned. It's not necessarily VIP, but it is a quiet spot to sit in a club if you don't want to be on the dance floor. So now it's time to grab a drink and order our food. Here are the prices because I know that you are curious about the drink prices and then the menu works this way. You get one of everything that's on a menu and then for your main event, you get to choose between sea bass or chicken. Deja and I chose one of each so you can see it all. We started off with the marinated beet salad, and guys, I was not so much a fan, but I went anyway. I know I don't like beets, but it was very, very beady. <laughs> well, let's watch our first performer, who is Opera Gaga. <laughs>
Caprese, which is a play on a Caprese salad and was very delicious. Do recommend. And our main event came. This is the sea bass and this is the chicken. Deja ate the sea bass, I had the chicken and we kind of just shared them. We both enjoyed both very much. And the dessert was a variety of chocolate. So good. As soon as we left dinner, we went over to have a second dinner. We did leave a little hungry, so I just decided to go over to the pizza place, which is becoming my favorite place on board to just go grab a quick bite. It did take a little time to get the pizza, but it's always so worth it. Once again, virgin, bravo on the pizza. So now I'm on my way to find Deja. I've got my pizza from the pizza place and I also got Heineken 0, .0. I've never had one and I was just always curious if it tastes like the beer or if it tastes weird so if you're also curious like we're just gonna do a little side journey together the ship show is not enough food so just be prepared to have a little snack in there and then go find you some food in the galley or a pizza place or something like that it feels like a nice fire what did you get? Some random shit. The new place is closed. Okay. Got me a pepperoni pizza. Okay, so Deja and I both, hold on. Deja and I both want to know what this tastes like. Taste it. Before I say it. don't anything. seem like it tastes good. Before I, no, I don't say that. Listen, if I was pregnant and I had a, a and I wanted some beer. It tastes like beer. It, it tastes, tastes like, like a light beer. It tastes like a light Heineken, yeah. It almost tastes like a Bud uh, Light with a hint of Heineken. That's so weird. It, I mean, it tastes like It's like beer, beer but it has like dash of Heineken, like <laughs> dash. With our bellies now full and feeling quite satisfied, we decided to go inside and check out the tattoos at Squid Ink. Okay, let's see about getting a tattoo. Welcome to Squid Ink, guys. I kind of want to get something small. Yeah. Like right here. I was I don't thinking know what the same though. thing, actually. It gotta be something meaningful. You can get a friendship tattoo. Aww. We should get our QR codes on our wrist. So QR it. codes? <laughs> Scan it to find your friend. <laughs> Okay. So all the one, yeah. These are all 150. Yes, and everything which is custom made are from 250 and up, all different size details. Okay. So you can check our portfolio here. So. Yeah, that's that too. This is like uh, flesh design. Uh, I mean, uh, custom designs. Wow. wow. How much does something like that cost? Like that's like a thousand. Thousand dollars. How big is your? You can see the difference sometimes between the quality. So yeah. All this shading here is done with like five little which is you know you just need to go whole day and do this wow to get all this shading you know you can see they already yeah. make some tattoo here so you can see how it's i would definitely about, save this for the last day what about something small like right here yeah like one of these like that, we can do like this is 150 so we put the second skin which is water resistant uv protected so you go swimming scuba diving what about like if it's not one of these but it's the same size It'd be 150 or something. 250. 250. Do you have to book your appointment in advance? Yes. Can you walk in? Yes, no, no. You need to come here, choose the design, and after that, you will fill out the deposit form. With the deposit form, you take your spot. How much is the deposit? 150. 150. So, okay, so if you one of these, it's just like you just pay in advance and come get it? Yeah, so okay. when you come here, you don't need to pay in advance. So Got it, okay. Do you recommend that people come later on in the cruise so they're not out in the sun? 
No, because we put the second skin. Okay. So oh. So this is the second skin. You top. You put this on the top of the tattoo. Mm -hmm. So we just oh. take this off. Did we get that? I this didn't one get is that. water resistant, you will protect it. So we can go swimming, scuba diving. Five to six. Yeah, minutes. I did. I remember seeing it. We just take this off. Oh. Um, so, okay. So there's a way to protect it while you're still on vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great to know. Yeah. Oh. Hey. You got a got couple a more days. Happy days. Yeah. I'm gotta... definitely gonna have to get something custom, so mine will be 250. <laughs> yeah, this is like good souvenir, you know. To uh, yeah, yeah, so forever souvenir. Yeah, this is like. <laughs> So, what if you get th this? Is this part of the options? No, this no. <laughs> what if I just want to get... It's just kidding. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, they have, they have toy. Oh, they got this guy named Porkchop. Cute. Well, oh, why are they so cute? How much are you, Porkchop? Poor chap. $39.95. <laughs> Cheaper than a tattoo. So if you don't want a tattoo, you want a piercing, you have Neo Metal piercings to choose from. Noise, noise. Maybe Deja is gonna get a tattoo. Yes, get a tattoo, girl. Maybe a nose. Yes, and come back blinging. Oh, Girl! <laughs> As we closed out the night, we stopped at our new favorite bar, which is the Sip Lounge once again. And here's Slobodan, our favorite bartender. What's up? What's up? <laughs> if I had to just go ahead and describe what the Sip Lounge is like on Virgin, I would have to describe it as similar to the Alchemy Bar on Carnival. It's kind of just like the upscale bar. There is a little bit of performance with the drinks. You can ask for anything and they'll make it for you. And it's just amazing. It's just an easy place to go, kick back, relax, and have conversation around the bar with other people wanting a good cocktail. I got this tequila based drink and Deja got a Moet based drink. He added a little flavoring in there. Topped it off with the mallet and put a cool foam with an edible sticker at the top. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. See, see you ya. later. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> um, the sip lounge was great. I would say it really gives me the alchemy bar vibes as far as like what Definitely. kind of bar yeah. is it on your ship. Yeah. Um, all the bars here are really great. Like that was the best one so far. I would say all the bars live up to Alchemy Bar standards, but that one gives that certain light. This is the special up class bar, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, the drinks are really good, and there's some showmanship in doing the drinks as well. And Even if he was making like cranberry and vodka, he made it like snazzy, you yeah. know? <laughs> exactly. So. It's great. So the Sip Lounge is a nice spot to, to go before or after a show, before you call it a night like we're doing right now. So it is 9 o'clock. It's only 9 o'clock. Um, we've been ripping and rolling for the past couple of days. Yeah. This was our third port in a, in a row. So I think it's time to take a little break. Yeah, our body's like, yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, we're, we're tired. So no club tonight, guys. I know, I know, I know, I know. But... We're gonna get some rest. Tomorrow we pick up the party. Um, we're probably just gonna go in a room, watch a movie, put on some comfy clothes. Definitely about to I'm put on some comfy clothes. Finish my drink. I might drink that other beer in there. Yeah. Uh, back in the room. And uh, hold on, let me turn on the light. Hold, please. Oh, that didn't work. They have like, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you know there's lights right here too, right? Where? Right here. What? We've been <laughs> the other night, as y'all saw, we couldn't figure out how to turn off lights without the iPad. Now yeah, there's who's sitting there waiting for the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> we waiting for the iPad to charge. Anyway, we're learning. We're learning so you don't have to. Oh, if I didn't tell this story, I had to take the pineapple off the door and put, bring it inside because somebody stole it, and that was very annoying. So I told Sailor Services, and somebody returned it. After I put a note on the door saying, return it or else. But anyway, so it's back, but it's staying in the room now. That's the second time that magnet's been stolen. It was stolen on the last cruise. I don't think I told y'all about that. And it was stolen on this one. So I don't think we're going to be using that 
pineapple. It's just too cute. Like people just want to steal it. Shout out to Stateroom Sound Statements. Like a brand <laughs> Stateroom Statements. If you're watching this, like hello, hello. Your stuff is so good, it's stealable. Then you have to buy it over and over again. But anyway, um, <laughs> this is it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning! Hi friends! It is a day at sea. Day five I think we're on now. <laughs> kind of losing all sense of time, but um, that's great on a cruise. Uh, this morning we are doing a uh, activity brought to you by Deja. She wanted to do the boy band's 90s dance class. <laughs> um, it's not really my style, but the girl likes it, so. That's what we're gonna do. So we're headed to the back, to the perch, to go and dance like we're in the 90s. Like we're in sync and Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I'm not that great at dance classes, but we'll, we'll see how, how it goes. <laughs> so you remember the back in the, like like 1999, they used to sell the DVD, how to dance like in sync and, be, and um, Britney Spears? Mm -hmm. I bought it. Of course you did. I was in the living room lit, okay? <laughs> Now this is like live action. I'm so excited. Scoop, double it up. Rodeo, rodeo, double it up. Five and eight. We're scooping, scooping, double it up. Rodeo, rodeo, double it up. Pull, look, stand. Pull, look, stand. <laughs> awesome. Keep it up front of me. This boy band dance class was hilarious and actually a pretty decent workout. We were sweating quite a bit after this. And at the end of class, Deja and I and a few other ladies decided to form an actual girl band and go through the routine again and really perfect it. And it was ridiculous. And we had so much fun. After the boy band dance class, we went and rewarded ourselves with a drink. And after that, we had another activity to do on our day at sea. Okay, next up on the agenda is the shot for shot class. I'm excited for that. Hi. Yes. Shot for Shot is an amazing class that Virgin Voyages offers where you not only learn how to make cool cocktails and drinks, but you also learn how to take fabulous photography of it. Get it? Shot for shot. Clear liquid, uh, and this is actually uh, soju. It's how you've gone to Gone Bay, yes? Yes. 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 Gone Bay, Gone Bay, Gone Bay. So, uh, on the count of three, we'll raise our glasses and say Gone Bay and take our delicious shot. One, two, three. Gone, gone Bay! bay. So this is the guy who's responsible for creating all of the drinks on board and he walked us through every step to making some of the iconic drinks, how to fuse flavors and make something delicious. With every drink we took a pause to go take photos and here is a photo of my soju based cocktail. This is a virgin mocktail made out of alcohol-free spirits and the top is a xanthan gum foam and here's a picture I took of that. Like, you don't want to drink tequila, I go crazy on tequila, but tequila has a lot of great benefits. It actually doesn't spike your blood sugar like other uh, yeah. spirits do and so it said it actually works with your metabolism. The third drink was a tequila based margarita that we then went and smoked. Now, when we went over to the smoker, I got inspiration for my third shot. And instead of doing a photo, I did the slow-mo video and it came out pretty cool. So we're gonna make an old fashioned and we're gonna be using time-lapse to film this one. So I've set up my mise en place and we're ready to go. Unfortunately, Deja wasn't able to join me in this class because there's literally only one spot left, so I took it, but I got her a souvenir. Okay, 
The shop for shop class was really nice. I would say out of all the classes and stuff on the itinerary, it is the hardest to get into. It's very popular, but it's also super worth it. So if you can get into the shop for shop class, get into it. The drinks are really good, but that's not the point of the class, right? It's about learning how to make drinks and also how to take pictures of them. So if you're kind of into photography and drinks, this is the perfect class for you as it was for me. So I've run out of Deja. I made her an old fashioned in class. Cool. Yeah. And um, also four to five is happy hour at multiple different bars. We're going to go to the dock and go to their happy hour. They are currently pushing their wellness series. So we're going to go try one of those drinks. Now, don't worry, we did make it to the 4 o'clock and the 5 o'clock happy hours and enjoyed ourselves with some mocktails and champagne, and then it was dinner time. So tonight, Deja and I are having dinner at the wake. Um, we've already gotten dressed for Scarlet night. Um, we're starting early dinner uh, at 6.15 so that we can kind of get dinner out of the way and then move on to do the other Scarlet night activities free and clear without having to trade for time at dinner. We are going to have our first dinner here at the wake um, and see how it compares to brunch because we love to brunch. For my curious best friends, here is the menu for the wake. You guys can take a pause and take a closer look. First of all, this bread, soft and delicious. That butter, everything. Okay, the bone marrow is here. So I'm gonna give it a try. I've never had bone marrow before. I'm a little scared, but uh, <laughs> kind of wiggly. Okay, okay, here we go. That's new. It just tastes really fatty, like a, almost like a fatty fish kind of. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Very soft. Mm -hmm. Super soft. Okay. <laughs> How would you describe that? It does look like fat, but it doesn't taste like fat. It's very like melt in your mouth. Um, interesting. Like, okay. It's not bad, but it's not. I wouldn't order it again. It's not bad. But we're just. I'm in my neighbor's plate right now, but. That's what is this called again? Oh, the petite platter. The petite platter. You got, the, you got lobster. You got, um, oh, is this one lobster. of the treat yourself ones? Yeah. Ah, okay. So the people who asked me about the treat yourself, here you go. And how much is this? Forty. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. The land, that'd be like a hundred dollars. Exactly. <laughs> That's the deal. Shout out to that. Enjoy. What's going on, friend? We've been staying for 30 minutes and we don't have any food. The wig need to come on. We done had appetizers and everything. No steak. For 45 minutes. We got no salad, the season salad or something. It's been a whole hour. It's been an hour now. <laughs> <laughs> no food. Shrimp and bread. And our filet mignon. Just the cream spinach. And then we have twice baked potatoes right over here. The Wake's vibe is very upscale and kind of mid-century, 50s, um, luxury. I will say this, the food looks better than it tastes. And I don't know if that's a good thing. Cabin, just for a moment, I um, just came to change my shoes to get ready for Scarlet Night and kind of just relax for a second before we decide our next move um we're gonna start the festivities downstairs in the roundabout but before we go downstairs i i feel like a lot of people have kind of told us that, that well okay i've heard several times that the wake is just not that great and i was like mm, how bad can it be because you know steakhouse like how how can you mess up a steakhouse well you would think in comparison to the other restaurants, like, they would know how to do flavors and seasoning. And it's just, like, none of that was happening in there at all. Like, I wanted salt the whole time. 
I was gonna ask them to bring us some salt, and I forgot. Yeah, I um I was gonna ask for salt too, but I did it. And then he asked me what kind of sauce I wanted for my steak. I normally don't eat steak with sauce. I feel like if the steak is good, it doesn't need a sauce. But it needed sauce. <laughs> like it was it was okay, but it wasn't even as good as the filet mignon I had for that brunch. So here's my advice. Um, if you're on a shorter sailing where you have to pick and choose which restaurants you go to for dinner, I would do as we did our first time and not go to the wake for, for dinner. Go for brunch. I feel like the selection is just better there. It lends better for a brunch versus a dinner. Just wasn't it. I don't know. What do you think, Deja? Yeah, I wasn't really feeling the way. I was really looking forward to a steak. I was just like, I really want a steak and a baked potato. And I was very under underwhelmed. The cheesecake was good, though. The, yeah, the desserts were fine. Was good. The clam chowder was good. But the actual food, um, was it? Yeah, we could have went to somewhere else. Back yeah. Pink agave. Pink agave steak was great. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> She's yawning. Let's get on with Scarlet Night. Let's go, y'all. <laughs> Let's get out of here before she goes to sleep. <laughs> the hallways are red. Oh, look. They're red now. Yay. Scarlet Night. Okay, all right. Hallways change colors here. Now we've made it to the main event. It's Scarlet Night, and guys, we had a time. I'm going to take you along with us and show you step by step how this works. What is your name? Brian, say hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. First things first, we were invited to a Scarlet Night wedding, and we were the old college friends. Your closest friends and family to celebrate with you! That's us! That's us! <laughs> Hi, we're Susie's uh, friends from college. <laughs> it's, it's so good to see you. You look incredible. Okay, so not even Brian knows this, but back in the day, Susie was crazy. We used to call her, um, oh my god, what was her nickname um, in, in her college? Nickname? I forgot. It was uh, Snooky. Snooky. We call her Snooky because she was so good at, um, oh my god, what was that one party oh, no. she was so good Naked keg Sorry? Naked keg stand. And naked keg stand. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, that was I know. We steer the same ship with you. To steer the same ship with you. Just for this Scarlet Night. Just for this Scarlet Night. part of the wedding and because we're wedding guests we get to go get some champagne yeah. so we're headed that way now we missed all of this on the first scarlet night this is exciting we love a wedding <laughs> What's happening, but it's like a moving party throughout deck six and seven. Now, this is the hostess. You could compare the hostess to any other ship's cruise director. She's kind of the leader of the Happenings crew, and if you want to know the story of Scarlet Night, you have got to go to this show. I'm going to let you just sit back and enjoy some of her singing. Right, a 
camera change for the rest of the activities tonight. We're gonna go see our friend Slobodon at the Sip Lounge. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And um, get to grab a drink from him real fast. <laughs> After we secured our drinks at Slobodan, we grabbed them and headed up to the pool where the real fun begins. Now, I believe this is the part that you are watching this vlog for, and it stands up to all the hype. Once we get to the pool opening during the party, that's when the night takes a turn, and it might take a turn for the better for you. So, my advice going into Scarlet Night pool party is wear something that you don't mind getting wet.
and that was my scarlet night kisses to the moon guys thank you so much for watching welcome back friends i have missed you welcome back to vacation vibes this is day seven aboard the valiant lady and we start off our day at brunch and we're going to move on to a spa day but let's start with my favorite brunch at the wake This morning we are back in the wake for brunch. Um, let me see if the brunch is a little better than dinner was last night. Um, be sure to let me know. Oh, but this is where we had my birthday brunch last time. If you missed it, I'm going to wake it up above. We got the bottle of mimosas. We went all out and partied and shut the place down. We got kicked out. It was great. It was so much fun. Today, I'm just ordering one drink at a time. <laughs> Um, we have so much to do today. Today is our day of luxury, so I don't want to be completely smoked before we go. I don't know why the food options at brunch are just better than the dinner options. Maybe I just love breakfast. I don't know, but all of this food was good. It was well seasoned. All the appetizers were even good during dinner time as well, but I just prefer the filet mignon, the steak here, the eggs. It's just a great, a great thing. Okay, so we just finished brunch at the wake. Um, it was definitely better than dinner was last night, but there were like a few little things like the order was wrong, but they fixed it very quickly, no problem. And then we weren't offered dessert, so that was a little weird too. Um, but it's okay, we didn't really need dessert for breakfast. We're just gonna move on with our day. Um, gonna get a little bit changed here. Next up, we have the spa, taking so them. Join us downstairs for a little bit of relaxation and rejuvenation. I'm very, very excited. My first time at any spa on a cruise, but definitely my first time at the Redemption Spa in the thermal suites. Hey there, girl. Why don't just me and you? I've been having like some conversation with different sailors, and I've been hearing about people being invited to these secret parties. And we haven't been invited to a secret party and honestly I feel a little offended. Like I'm very, I'm very kidnappable and no one's kidnapped me to take me to a speakeasy, to a magic show, nothing. I kind of want to know what's up with that. So here's to hoping we get kidnapped before we get home. Fingers crossed. Welcome to Virgin Voyages Redemption Spa. First off, it is so beautiful in here and so relaxing. This lovely young lady gave Deja and I a quick tour of the spa. These platforms that you see sitting around, these are heated platforms and all marble. So after you jump out of, let's say the cold tub, you can lay on one of these slabs and just take a nap. And that was the best nap time. Over here is the dry sauna, which we enjoyed. Over here is the steam room, and next to the steam room is the Himalayan salt room, which was one of my favorites. I was actually stuffed up this whole entire week from allergies, and this was the first time I felt free and clear to breathe. Over here to the right is the mud room, where you get cups of mud, and you can put it on your face and your body, and it's just good for all kinds of things, according to her. You'll have to come to the Redemption Spa to give the full rundown. Here is the pool and the cold and hot tubs. Okay, once you enter the spa, they will give you a locker and then they'll take you to a changing room like this. Um, they'll give you a robe and some shoes. So you wanna change into that and then we're gonna go hit the spa. Okay, the robe is nice. It says Redemption Spa and the shoes fit. Okay, let's have a spa day. Mm. Oh, it's, it's not super cold. 
It's not as cold as like that. Yeah, it's not like super, super cold. It's not a polar plunge, but it's probably like 50 degree water. Okay, Deja. 10 seconds. That's all. Put, okay, one foot at a time. Oh my God. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Come on. Nope. Put it in there. Nope. Put it in there. Ah! No, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I never said that. Oh, God. You could do anything if you put your mind to ah! it. There you go. Okay, later. Oh, you later. God. She got her feet in, people. God. Christ. Just, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> we'll reward you with the sauna. No! Come <laughs> <laughs> <You got it. laughs> Just a little lower. Just, just a little. Just a, just a, just a. Okay. Almost okay. We got okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Just, just lower. Just, <sighs> just breathe. Just breathe. You're almost there. Come on. See, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Oh, you did it, friend. Just, 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 just drop it. Just drop the dun dun dun. Just drop, just drop the dun dun dun. Drop the dun dun dun. <laughs> Exhale. I can't. You're holding in all this air. You're buoyant. Wiggle your toes. <laughs> you, got, you gotta touch the floor. You gotta touch the bottom. Touch the floor. Just touch the bottom. It won't let me. Okay. I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor. See, it's not so bad. Mm. Exhale, breathe. <laughs> They're bad. See, it's not bad. Fine. <laughs> it's not that bad, okay. Fine. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Not me. Not me. <laughs> After the cold tub, we did reward Deja with some hot rooms. Here's us in the mud room putting on the eucalyptus mud on her face to clear our pores, open up everything, and then the other mud went on our bodies. There are showers in there to get it all off, and then we went into the steam room. We went to the other rooms, the sauna and the Himalayan salt rooms as well, but they were kind of packed, so I didn't want to record people half-dressed. Back from the spa. Do we look rejuvenated? I feel rejuvenated. I'm on my third costume change of the day, but it's okay. I'm running out of um, time to wear all my outfits, so I'm trying to get them in. Um, headed downstairs to carb load, and then we're gonna go out to the sun and burn a little bit more, and then it'll be time for a happy hour. Actually, they should have those wellness drinks Happy hour four to five. So right. we can catch those. We found out about those yesterday. I forgot that that was a thing. Whew. While we're waiting on our pizza, we just got a couple of salads. I got some ginger ale. Um, fun fact, you guys, ginger ale helps with seasickness. Not that I'm seasick today, but I just felt like that sounded good after the spa. <sighs> How did you like the spa, Dej? I liked it. I wish we would have went when it was kind of crowded though. Yeah. It was kind of crowded, but it was nice. I would I would suggest that you probably, if you don't do the week-long pass at the spa, I would do either on your first sea day, like when you first get on board, as a way to kind of like get work off of you before your vacation, or at the end of your crazy vacation, go in there on your last sea day like we did. A lot of people were in there talking about how they needed to just detox and get all the alcohol out, so it's probably a good idea. Look at Dave's salad, y'all. So yummy and nutritious. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a Caesar, what a Caesar dressing. Yay, are my croutons so crispy? 
No, they get a little soft. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Guys, so you're I can confirm that there is secret <laughs> stuff. It is not a rumor. But I didn't get invited, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Deja and I are matching tonight. I don't know why. Don't ask why. <laughs> yes, I got these shirts on Shein. They were cute. They were very cheap. And I was like, this would be cute on me and my friend. They always kind of match. So I figured, why don't we just match? We look know. like a girl band. Ooh. People are going to be talking about us. Oh, oh my God, are you sisters? <laughs> Either that or think, think we're partners. Are you are you look at those lesbians matching. We're lesbians. <laughs> where's, this, where's the restaurant we're going to today? There you go. Six. Okay. Going down. Going down. Hey, Deha. Mm -hmm. You're on an elevator. Yeah. yeah. It's been like three days. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Ooh, the boy. I have to do the clap. Wait. It'll work. For someone who never chooses an Italian restaurant on land, extra virgin is ranked pretty high with me. Anytime I think about pasta, I think about extra virgin. It is just that good. The handmade pasta is delicious. And just the upscaleness, the, the warmth that you get from extra virgin is just amazing. It's my favorite Italian restaurant at sea, that's for sure. So Deja and I sat down and had a really quick dinner because we were on a time crunch. We needed to get to the show. So hi, we're at Extra Virgin for dinner tonight and I start off with the drink that Deja had on the last cruise, the Hugo, which is an aperitivo, kind of like a palate cleanser before you eat at a Thai restaurant. Um, it is super refreshing. It's nice after like hanging out in the sun all day or you know the spa that we had. Um, and then I just ordered all my favorites here. Real easy. We're trying to make a show, so we want to be like bam, 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 eat, get out of here. We get one hour and counting. So hopefully we can kind of get through dinner, also, but enjoy because I'm excited for the oxtail pasta. It's so good. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it's good again. Also getting calamari, meatballs, beef carpaccio, all the goodies. So hopefully May the stoves be fast. <laughs> For the sake of time, we decided to grab as many appetizers as we could to kind of pick at because they came out pretty quickly. We went ahead and ordered our entree and just started to eat. The calamari here is great, meatballs great, charcuterie board, amaze. So carpaccio, so good. All right, I feel like we have ordered so much food and are like, we also asked him to like hurry it up because we're trying to make it to a show. And, um, you yeah. might be a little mad at us, but we're here to eat, okay? <laughs> Listen, we got two more sleeps till we go home. Let's eat. This is the, the uh, portion size that you get. Order two. Yeah, if you're extra hungry, get you a couple. Um, if we had more time, I probably would order a second portion, to be honest with you. But it's more so important to me that it tastes the same. It does taste the same. So I'm happy about that. They did say that you could get the pasta in a full size or a side size. And this is giving sides. I, I can't imagine that they give you a smaller size than this. <laughs> So we're here at Doriality. We have a seat up top. They're not horrible seats at all. I do enjoy these seats. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Dej and I were just talking about how the space is so versatile. The red room changes throughout the week to look very different every single time you come in here. So that's, that's pretty neat. 
Do Reality is one of my favorite shows on Virgin because it delivers the thrills. Virgin Voyages is a ship that doesn't have things like water slides and bungee cords and all that fun stuff that some of the other cruise lines have, but where they do give you the thrills is the death defying shows. Do Reality is an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet's story mixed with the circus and it's just great i definitely recommend that you book this as soon as you board you do not want to miss The reality was amazing again. Um, the same show for the most part, but there was definitely some differences. So when you come back and see the show, just know that there will be things that are different. So you're not seeing the exact same show every single time. So. Welcome back guys to our final day of this trip, finally. And today we're in Bimini to do something scary. Get our own little go kart. What the Welcome back to the Beach Club, guys. Um, happy to be back here. A little sad that we're not going to spend the day here again because it's like the ultimate beach day. The ultimate beach day for adults. So, kind of give you a little once over to this pool over here to your right when you walk in is kind of where your party happens um the dj will do his set over here and the floaties will be out in the pool and then you have a pool on the other side this pool over here has your swings at the bar it's a little bit more chill hey hey look we got people ready ready for the day what's going on <laughs> Day. Looking hot and sexy. This is what you'll find at the beach club. <laughs> the beach club at Bimini is completely free and always included in any of the Caribbean itineraries with Virgin. I love it here and I definitely recommend you get off early to experience and get great seats. All right, one spot I do want to go to because we have access is Richard Retreat. So we're going to head straight to the left of the resort and uh, use our Rockstar access to get us back there and see what's going on. The VIP area of the beach club is a little bit quieter, way more shady, and you have a private bar and waiters who bring you food and your drinks. I definitely think it is a worthy perk, especially at this busy beach club. Deja and I hung out here until it was time for us to leave for our excursion. Okay, so here at Richard's Retreat, they, they, you sit down, you luxuriate, and they bring you a menu. Look at us, look at us, who'd have thought? <laughs> so here's your menu. We're gonna order some drinks, maybe a little snacky. We have like 30 minutes before we gotta go, so yeah. She is. A little liquid courage before we jump in the water with some shorts. We headed back towards the pier to catch up with our excursion. They put us on a yacht and told us we had a 30 to 45 minute boat ride out into the big blue. Our boat is taking us out to the Sharks. It's about a 30 minute 
boat ride to the spot where the uh, shipwreck is and be sharp. We have our scuba equipment and some flippers. And luckily, this boat ride isn't very fast, so the seasickness is kind of chilling. And we keep passing all of these yachts. Hello, rich people. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. One day, one day we'll have our own at sea. So then there is me. We will have our own crew. Hey. So then there is me. We will have our own crew. <laughs> So here's the big reveal. We are headed out to the big blue to snorkel with sharks, you guys. Something I never thought I'd be saying, but I want to take you on this adventure. Look, 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 look. Sharks! Ah, look at them! Don't touch the sharks. <laughs> yeah. Natural. If you leave something on board, you want to swim back to the boat for it, okay? You don't throw anything into the water yet. Okay, if you see set, you have to throw up, go to the bathroom, or you can use the garbage, right where you want to go to the Nobody is coming in the water. Okay, it's going to send the fish in a feeding frenzy, and then the sharks are going to go to the feed. After a brief introduction to, into what we're about to do, they let us go. Come with me as we jump in and um, let's see if I, if I can convince my friend to get in with me. Come on, girl. I'm right here. Don't be scared. You'll be, you'll float. You'll be fine. This excursion was called the Sapona Shark and Shipwreck snorkel adventure it costs a little over $230 I believe per person to go on this excursion so if it's something you want to do definitely budget for it I think it was worth every penny we were very well taken care of by the staff and I felt very safe the sharks were not afraid of us they were almost kind of like puppies they were excited to see us roll up and they were curious about us so they definitely would come up to us. I will say, if you are not a swimmer, I would think twice about doing this because you are in the open ocean. The waves were very tough to swim against and they will take you away from the boat. So be prepared to swim. Even though there's life vests, you need to be somewhat of a decent swimmer. And if you want to see what a feeding frenzy looks like, just watch this next scene. Yep. All right, guys, ready? Yep. All right. <laughs> After we were done with the sharks, he moved over to the shipwreck and to be honest, I ended up getting a little seasick from that part of the adventure, so I stayed on the boat for this. But um, if you want to know more about this ship, look up this upon a shipwreck. This went from being a shipwreck to a casino to now just a wreck in the middle of nowhere. Apparently the mobsters wanted to uh, have a little offshore money.
Boeing. I know, I'm okay. tan. I am so tan. <laughs> I am super tan. That's a nice beach. Yeah, the Bahamas is just so pretty. Like honestly, it don't matter how ghetto, <laughs> wherever you are, the Bahamas, the water, the beach, are yeah, unbeatable. It's a really nice beach. You really can't go wrong in the Bahamas. But yeah, I, the water was so clear and pretty and calm. I really wish we could have spent more time there, but I had to go see the sharks, which was, once again, a little once in a lifetime thing. Check that off the- Saw a ship, a ship right Oh there. yeah, saw the ship, even though I got really seasick after swimming, mm -hmm. the current was really tough to swim against, and I think the combination of seasickness and then feeling fatigue and then maybe a little sip of salt water had my stomach in knots so I had to had to cool it while we were at the ship um, the shipwreck I mean there wasn't a ton of ton to see besides the wreck I heard some people saying that they saw some fish here and there and a little bit of coral but it wasn't a whole lot yeah, it was like once they swam to the wreck it was nothing there yeah <laughs> That's the tram we're not taking. Um, they kind of just dropped us off across the street from this long pier. But um, could have waited on the damn train. Well, yeah. Oh well. Now. oh well. Get a little extra few steps in. Hey, we black. Y'all can got the black badge. Y'all can stop. Can we get a ride? Can we get on? <laughs> Thanks Thank for picking us up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What have we done? Since when? Since we got on the ship? Or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we ordered some pizza and now we're in line getting ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Lick me till. You definitely had to stop here one last time. We might have to stop here again before it's one last time, one last time. We'll see how many ice creams we can fit in in four hours. All right, as a last little snacky snack, we're gonna do pizza out on the balcony. Pizza in the hammock sounds like a great time to me. After some time to relax with the snack, it was time to get dressed for dinner where we went up top to take virgin sign photos and then headed down to one of our favorite restaurants, the Tusk Kitchen, where we had a little bit too much fun and you guys gotta come to dinner with us because this next section, hilarious. Okay. We have made it to the test kitchen. I have my welcome drink, which is a caramel tea with honey, cinnamon, what else? I don't remember, but it's chamomile. like a chamomile. Chamomile. It's chamomile tea. Yeah, it's something in there. Um, but uh, it's just going to uh, palate cleanser. Same chocolate. All right, so it's a different menu from last time. So we're gonna see what we So we, I brought my blue cacao from home, um, so I was saving it for a special occasion, but we've gotten so much free moet on board, we hadn't really needed to use it, so the last so few hours, we finally are opening up our own bottle, so cheers to a wonderful cruise together, um, having a friend to travel with and experience life with, it's so special, so we love our best friends, right? Cheers! <laughs> All right, ladies. Once Hello, again, Pedro. good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Fest Kitchen. <laughs> Let me ask you: Is your first time with us? Um, first time on Valiant. So we're on Second time. Yeah. Yeah. So welcome back to Fest Kitchen. My name is Pedro, and I'm here to provide you a unique experience. How we have the cocktail, mocktail, wine, or beer pairing. Okay. What do you? I did the wine before, so should I try the cocktail? I can tell which cocktails we serve. We start with the bergamot aperitif, that is a bergamot liqueur, herbal liqueur. Okay. The second is the alpine sparkle, that is a sparkling wine and okay. a spirit. 
the third is the Martini Rouge, that is three different liqueurs. It's Akovic, the Scandinavian liqueur. We have the Lille Rouge and we have Pecho. Pecho is a German liqueur. Then for the main course, we have the Apple Blossom, that is Apple Brandy. And for the desserts, we have the Ginger Sour, that is made with Limit Gin. And we finish with the Risk, that is made of Soju. How do the pairing the cocktail? The cocktail pairing? Yeah. Right. Pair right so one cocktail pairing. Perfect. Thank you. And in case you're wondering, uh, for research purposes, I will share. Of course, I was, I was going to ask. <laughs> We're just, we've learned our lesson. For we have so much alcohol in the room that we haven't drank yet. So, it's go We have so much alcohol in the room. But, we have, I've never gotten this much free. Well, I guess it was free, but technically, like, if you got the rock star, it came with it. Yeah. But, so much We got a few rock star perks. Yeah. So, we have, like, what, six beers? We had six beers. We have two bottles of tequila, one bottle of rum that have been unopened, and a Red Bull. So, and then we had our champagne. Oh, we still have that little bottle of red wine. The rest of your red wine. We finished that tonight. So tonight's menu seems interesting to me. Um, I'm not super excited about beetroot. I don't like beets, um, but. I'm willing to try anything. We try vermouth and club soda. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, thank you. Can you call me out? I'm not saying that you need to try it. <laughs> okay. It's very dry. It's a very light taste. It's, it's super light. It's a very light taste. How they cleanse you here. Yeah. But yeah, so dry, dry for the is like it's really dry. That's what they make martinis with. So it's not sweet at all. But you can like a hint of sweetness. So to me, I, I like it. I wouldn't order that at the bar. But it's a nice drink. And it's how they clean it. Little breath. Just to help you with your napkins, please. Well, the first course is called corn. Let me show you what we got going on here after oh, Pedro right, explains. Ladies. Yeah. Okay, Our first course of the evening, corn. It's a corn parfait mixed with cilantro and terrier. On top, you can see five spiced popcorns alongside served with roasted sweet corn. So basically, in front of you, you have a pot cake. Okay, so this is how you do this. You take your bread, pop that in half. You always start with your utensils from the outside going in. So we're going to grab this knife. Get a little... Look how nicely that just pops off there. And then you spread it on your bread. Give it a little taste, shall we? Very corny. I mean... <laughs> It tastes like corn. <laughs> it tastes like sweet corn. But it also kind of tastes like popcorn. Oh, now oh, let me taste some of this. You now you have to taste the, the dry vermouth after that. It doesn't taste kind of better. It do taste kind of better, see? When you pair your drinks with your food, it should make both of them. Like somehow that tastes more flavorful now. You know? Yeah. You know, like brings out. It brings out the, the corn must bring out the flavor. <laughs> Who knew driver vermouth and corn go together? Who knew? The test kitchen knew. That's who knew. Oh, for you girlies who are asking me for the shake for champagne. See if it'll work tonight. I think they turned it off. I would like champagne. Oh. Can't see it though. Tap the screen. There you go. So it gives you some champagne bottles, bubbles, and then it says, "Push me right here." Yeah. It says, "Push me for champagne." Um, yours says, "It looks like you don't have permission to use it on your phone." What? <laughs> Her phone trying to save her from making a mistake. But listen, our, down here it, it shows you how much it costs, $95. And it, they will deliver it to you anywhere you are on the ship. Um, 
there are no taxes at sea, so you don't have to worry about taxes. But um, we do get Moet Chandon Imperial, which is what we've been drinking all cruise long. So we haven't had to use this because we've gotten several glasses every day, except for today. Sad, sad times, but uh, there you go. That's, that's the shake for. Uh, I would just like to say that it's working now. I just had to enable you to okay? <laughs> enable your boots. I just had to enable the boots. It's working. Don't try to play me. Hi there. Oh, hi. This commercial is what? <laughs> Virgin Voyages. <laughs> By the way, I'm from the West Coast. Hey, oh, West Coast. West Coast. No, I'm just kidding. I'm from the Philippines. So, Southeast. Coast. West Philly. Southeast. Born and raised. So, guys, click like, subscribe, and don't forget. And then hit the, the link down pay. below. Hit the and you'll get $200 a single bit. Yeah. Free of charge and Pedro will pay the next year. <laughs> <laughs> For the second cocktail of the evening, we have the Alpine Spark. Italian bitter called Bravo Amaro, fairly liqueur and sparkling wine. We love theater. Our second course, salmon. It's a beautiful citrus cured salmon. The salmon is marinated and lime. Yeah. Ooh. Drink number three is here. Correct, our Martini Rouge, that is Aquavit, a Scandinavian liqueur from Norway, Lille de Rouge, and Peixot, that is a German recipe of a liqueur. In the garnish, we have quinoa and sorrel leaves, and now I'm going to add beetroot bubbles. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna like this either. Uh, her, her dress is slippery and just fell on the other napkin. Uh, <laughs> uh, my camera died, so now we're on my phone. So if there's a switching quality, sorry. Um, yeah, it's it's a rolled up beef. They call it a cannoli because they have like something in the middle. <laughs> I don't like foam. I mean, I don't like. I don't foam. No, I like foam. I'm sorry. I mean, I like. I don't like beet. But she doesn't like foam because. Well, I'm gonna link it up below. Up, 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 up. <laughs> the OGs know why she might not like foam. If you know why, leave it in the comments down below. But anyway. The only the OGs would know that. Um, I don't like beets, so this is a no for me. I don't like beets either. I'm gonna try it though. <laughs> Yesterday I had a cocktail that had beets in it oh, when, I when I went to Shot for Shot. Oh. Uh. Alright, let's do it together. No. You're not gonna eat it at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take one for the team. Oh, Lord. I'm gonna take one for the team. Take one for the team and try this. I don't even remember what he said this was. The Lord, Lord, Lord. Something from a cup of something to the pure um, It's not that bad, but it's not my thing. It's not, it's not nasty. Take it like a shot. <laughs> we're gonna be, we're gonna be toe up. It's like wine. It's like a really strong pork. Cocktail apple blossom. That is apple brandy, apple juice, pino cherry, and elderflower tonic. Ooh, I love the elderflower. Yes. Okay, cocktail number four. Let's give a little sip. Okay, blind blind tasting. I'm not gonna tell her how I feel about it. I'm let her sip it on her own. Going for a second. This plate because it's really hot, okay? Okay. Oh wait, there's more. Wait, hey, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> the noodles are made out of shrimp. The noodles are made out of shrimp. Let's try it. Okay, I'm trying to do it first. I was looking at it, I was like, this is, like, I, these noodles aren't regular noodles. 
You see, this is what the test kitchen is good at. Messing you up inside a little bit. Mm. All right, let's just try the noodles by themselves before I get any seafood in my mouth. And I don't want to feel biased at all. Uh-uh. Come on. Taste it. No, taste it. I'm trying to have a big ass pizza. I just cut off a little bit. Oh you see? You, have you ever had shrimp chips? Your mom would be eating them from the from the gas station. It tastes like if a shrimp chip was a noodle. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Okay. 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 Oh, okay, this glass might look small, but to be honest, they give you a really generous serving. Like me and her sharing it is like kind of perfect. I couldn't have drank this whole thing plus the other five by myself to, to be really, 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 really super honest, guys. I know we like to party. This is a full cocktail size. Mm, okay, shrimp. We're gonna go for a lamb here in a minute. We're going. We're going to tear down a shrimp though. We'll be right back. Okay, now we're gonna try the lamb. Let me give you a little. A little lamb situation. I'm a little lit, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, no, that's scary. You drink that. That's like straight liquor. I'm a real thug in here in these streets. Take you to the head, you know what I'm saying? From Miami. That's what I say, she's from Miami. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got my little piece. All right, truth be told, I don't love lamb. That's why I picked this shrimp. I don't really like lamb. I like it. It's okay, but it's not, it's not my personal choice ever. Let's try to get more. Is this, oh, jus is good. Okay, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Pedro. Pedro, come to save the day because we're being a hot mess. <laughs> I am wearing all white, so shout out to Pedro. Okay, three, two, one. If you like lamb, you like it. For a lamb dish, really flavorful, well seasoned. It's really, really well seasoned. This is where the wake falls apart. If the wake would season their steaks like this lamb is seasoned. The wake, please listen to this. Put some salt in your food. Something. I don't know what y'all gotta get salt over there. Who got high blood pressure on the staff? I don't know, but we don't have high blood pressure. We want some salt. The lime juice, real very fresh. Lime juice. The, the cute little glass that me and Jen were like tripping over last time. Hello, baby. I remember that. <laughs> yep, yep. You're seasick. That's, that'll be good. Lots of ginger. Ooh. <clears throat> it's good though. It definitely got real fresh ginger. Yeah, it's like ginger. Should have had pictures on the boat. Sharks, because she was struggling. I about died. I honestly, I think it's because I swallowed too much salt water. That's why I did that. You guys, I swim with them sharks for bottles. First of all, it took me ten minutes to get in the water. <laughs> Y'all, first of all, I don't like the ocean. So when I was about, to, I, I wasn't scared of the sharks at all. I didn't like the fact of jumping into the ocean. Cause I like to ease, you know like we go to the beach, you gotta ease into the water. I don't like just jumping, so it took me about 10 minutes and the guy was making fun of me the whole time. Yeah. I had to swim back and get her. I was already out there looking at sharks, I looked up and she's still sitting on the edge of the boat. <laughs> the guy was making fun of me, he was like, just jump in. I was like, yo, I'm scared. And he was like, he was putting on his wetsuit, he was like, he was like, I beat you into this water, I swear to God, like, you, I'm, I'm, so, so, I'm so sick of you. I was like, man, look, I'm not, I was so scared, like something was like, just don't jump in the water. But then when Vanessa came, I was like, okay, I felt safe. <laughs> 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 
something that's a slow motion. She's like, just jump in. I was like, okay. So I just jumped in. But I was still scared. Like, and I don't then know. I don't like I, I brought ocean. her out. I brought her out. Yeah, and, then right. I, and then I was like, okay, put your face in the water. Look at the, sh at the sharks. I swim away. I look up. She back in the boat. I'm like, y'all got it. <laughs> In the water, look at the, sh at the sharks. I swim away. I look up. She back in the boat. My dog got it. This is the dessert. Oh, this is correct. It's not a dessert. This is yeah, asparagus. Okay, all right. Our fifth course of the evening and first dessert, oh. asparagus. Okay. In a bed of ginger jelly and champagne savayon, we have our asparagus sorbet garnished with asparagus leaves and candied ginger. This dish will help to clean your palate before the last dish of the evening. Eating asparagus for dessert. This is not a dessert. Try it, Asia. I tried it. Let's see what you is this ice cream? What is this? It's ice cream. Is this ice cream? Asparagus ice cream? It's keto. <laughs> no. Sorry. <laughs> You need to try all the ingredients together. Together, don't try, yeah. Don't try just the okay. asparagus sorbet. Together okay. with the jelly and the okay. white cream, the champagne sorbet. Right, I'm gonna try it right this time. <laughs> I'm gonna try it right this time. Okay, ready? It's not bad. It's just you can taste the asparagus. It's better with the cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. But you know, that's why they put it all together because. They combine together. Yeah. All the ingredients together, they make a difference. It's it does. The asparagus ice cream by itself. That's correct. Yeah. Like there is ginger jelly in the bottom, and then there is more candy ginger in the side. Okay. Even with the, the candy ginger. If you put the ginger in there, it does, yeah. It completes the whole circle. It does. Yeah. The asparagus it. ice cream by itself. When you weren't looking, I tried it for the camera, and I'm, I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm trying. <laughs> All together, that's good. I would say that. Let me reiterate, you need to have an open palate. You definitely have to have a ton of test kitchen. You cannot you're... be a picky eater. They don't got chicken tenders. No, no, there's no, no kids no meal. Ain't no kids meal here. So you have to be very adventurous to eat here and, and enjoy it. If you're one of those people who will only get the same thing every, every single restaurant you go to, forget about it. Don't even book the test kitchen because you're going to be upset. What do you but come? You're if you man. if you want to have a true culinary experience, if you like think about the shows that you watch with like Iron Chef or like Hell's Kitchen, and then you talk about all these complex flavors, this is the place where you can taste food that tastes like the, sh the food that's on those shows, and you can experience it for yourself. We got more. So, ladies, for our last cocktail, we have Risk. That stands for raspberry infused soju cocktail, and Ooh, that is raspberry this, puree. Soju. Soju, apparel, lime, and other flower Ooh. Smells really She says soju, apparel, and lime, lime and then elder elder flower flower tonic, tonic. I got all and the raspberry puree. Ooh. I, got, I got soju in the house, apparel. What else is soju? Lime. Lime and elder flower. Okay, this is good. We're gonna make it at the house. You'll like this. Yeah. yeah. She don't she's, like it. She's, no, I like it. She's gonna make this at the house though. When I'm not on vacation, guys, I go to day day vacation house. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I go to vacation because I'm such a such a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I go to oh. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk cam. I go to Deja's house and she makes drinks. I'll make the hookah and she'll make the well, sometimes cocktail. Sometimes I make the hookah and the drinks. It just depends. Some, you know, sometimes she feels really hospitable. <laughs> and she'll make both, but you know. Wait, hold on. In the comments, <laughs> refer to me as vacation. <laughs> That's it. So, I, we don't laugh on the in here. Yeah, we are. This lady. They're enjoying themselves. We're, one of the couple up in the whole joint. Look, we're supposed to be in the show at 345, but uh, whatever. Yeah. Dessert, uh, dessert number two is here. This is what I was waiting on because I saw them making it earlier. So, our last course of the evening 
strawberry. In the center, we have a strawberry jelly. Around it, fresh raspberries and a strawberry marshmallow. We have a white chocolate and wasabi whipped cream. The wasabi is gonna give the kick on the dish. And the crumble is made of Rice Krispies, white chocolate and strawberry powder. So my recommendation, you should taste first the whipped cream so you can feel the meat of wasabi and then just mix everything together so you have the combination of flavors and textures all together. Wasabi cream. Wasabi. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay guys, let's try this wasabi whipped cream. Let's try it together. Okay, here we go. Who's trying first? The cream. Wasabi whipped cream. I'm scared. I don't even like wasabi in real life. Me neither. <laughs> I'm, I'm very scared here. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, that's very interesting. So you get the sweetness and then the wasabi just hits you in the back, right? It's not spicy. It's not but hot. you know how wasabi like clears your sinuses? It's like if it if it was if wasabi was sweet and it still clears your sinuses. It's not like a hot spicy stuff. Like my tongue not hot. Let me but try you, that again. That but is you a, feel the wasabi though. That is the craziest way. That is so cool. <laughs> a wasabi should be like this all Somehow the time. Somehow they were able to get them. Like the feeling of wasabi without the spice of wasabi. Because my tongue is not burning at all, but I feel wasabi in my mouth. Y'all some rocket scientists over here? <laughs> How y'all do that? The <laughs> <laughs> bar is closing. The sick lab. The sick bar. So oh, make sure you ask. Of course, we headed over to our favorite lounge and bar in the whole ship to have one last drink. We met this lady, forgot her name, sorry girl, but <laughs> we had a good time with her and a few of the ladies that we met at the bar. The last night in the club wasn't super packed as I suppose a lot of people were in their cabins packing or getting some sleep for the travel day up ahead. But we had the time of our lives and danced the night away. with virgin voyages and valiant lady we did it all we did it all literally. literally like we it's time it's time to go home like i came to back for a better cruise but before i sign off we did one more thing we did a little shopping spree oh, yes. so let me show you what we got i'm gonna show you start with i what i got and i'll show you what deja bought so here are my bag Look at this little shopping spree on Virgin, y'all. Okay, listen, they got like a luxury. It's called High Street, just like in London. In London, High Street is kind of like Fifth Avenue in New York City. So let's start with this bag. I got the Virgin merch. So I, I really like Ver Valiant Lady because it's a Black Mermaid. Hello. So I got a keychain and I got a magnet. I'm, but anyway, so I also, you guys know. Y'all know I love a spirit jersey. Oh, so I finally got my spirit jersey. Remember from the first Virgin vlog, after dual reality, I like completely had a spaz moment because there was a spirit jersey. This was the spirit jersey I looked at. It says Virgin Voyages on the back. And on the front, you have the insignia. Boom, shakalaka. We're very happy. We're excited. I'm wearing that to the airport. That's in the big bag. The second thing I bought was a designer Coco Chanel um, bag here. It's just a little like day night bag. Um, this was, I think like retail $80. 
um cute little real italian leather so i got a nice designer bag shout out to virgin we shop and shop in and then um jlo is an ambassador we're actually watching hustlers <laughs> right now so shout out to jlo girl i got the jlo glow sampler kit like one of everything um just to try it out I've, you know so i've heard some things about this line so i wanted to go ahead and try it out for myself so that was my shopping spree deja what did you get okay guys so i've been really getting into perfumes lately so i got the coco chanel Ooh. um I forgot what version of Coco Chanel this is, but it's like... It should say on there. I think it's like... I don't know. She got Coco Chanel Eau de Parfum. Oh, really, really good. So I got this. Oh, and I also... You know, I've been having some muscle pain the whole cruise. <laughs> so, Wait. You guys... You guys don't even understand. I've been having like severe neck... Like literally like my neck has been bothering me this whole cruise. So I had to go buy some big gay tonight. Like, so yeah, this is my haul. Shout out to the Bengay. Shout out to Bengay and Coco, Sh Coco Chanel. That's how you know you're getting old. We got Coco Chanel. It's, Co it's Coco Chanel oh, and it's that's Coco Chanel. I thought this was Coco number five. It's not. It's Coco. Is it? No, it's not. I don't think it's number five. It's not Chanel number five. It's Coco Chanel. Okay. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you booked your cruise and you got the $200 off. Shout out to Virgin for being helpful during this cruise vlog series. Y'all are the real MVPs. I'm going to shower. I'm going to put on my PJs. I'm going to pack a little bit. And it's time for Deep Bark Day. Thanks so much. See you in the morning. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break.